I'm ready, DM. Oh. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. So, let's see. Okay, let me check my notes. Have everything open. So, I finally figured out the name of the follower of Luthic. We're going to call her Esma. I think Ooh. I actually put it in trackers. So, Let's Esma. Go. Follower okay. of Luthic. Who's the psychic of Yzma? Yzma. Oh. <laughs> Empress Yzma. 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 Oh well, shit, now she needs to have someone in her life named Kronk. Thanks, Kronk. Please. Please. You know what, Kronk? It's a very excellent orc name. name. Yeah, right? It's a very excellent orc name. Have, like, an orc named Kronk. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make it canon that she knows somebody named Kronk now. <laughs> yes, that is perfect. That is perfect. God damn it. Okay, so anyways, Esma, the follower of Luthic, who warned Rico Bishop and all of you that there would be an arc raid, you are going to be meeting her today. Today is the 20th of Chess. It is still much... It's still, like, very much the beginning of spring at the moment. So, like, it's still cold, a bit chilly, but it's getting warmer, warmer than it was, like, a month ago. And, um... Yeah, after a good night's rest from um, defending the place and also partying, you all wake up the next day feeling refreshed. Everybody was able to do a long rest. All of your stuff that refreshes at a long rest, it's all, like, refreshed. So, okay. And then all of you are, like, you know, getting your stuff ready. You're packing your stuff. All of you meet in the dining hall so that you can meet for breakfast. So at this point, y'all are just like sitting down there eating together. You're not sure where Rico Bishop is at the moment. But yeah, like now is an opportunity to roleplay if you want. Y'all are like in the dining hall in this like big long table where there are chairs on either side and one, one on each end. All right. So like we're all on the same okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, yeah. like you know, Faith on the stand so like opens up, eating bread, right. eating bread and a bit of eggs and it says, uh, last night was a good fight. I think the strategy we have at hand is pretty good. I think um my friend here, uh Fenrir and uh I was just about to call him Wayne, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> and Dante can take up the vanguard while Sina and uh, well, the Red Knight control the back line. I think that's a good enough strategy, don't you guys think? And Penner, while, while holding uh, a turkey leg in each hand right? <laughs> and just eating, says, well, it's fairly simple, really. The sharp end sticks to the fleshy part, and that is how you do it. <laughs> yeah, and, and like what they call this, uh, fatal nod in agreement, I guess. That's, that's a very simple way to put it. And here now, it is it is something that we should try to keep up when we're in a battlefield, uh, considering that it will affect our, uh, technically, our success in battle. So we should try to keep up our front lines whenever we can. Yes. Dante, you should try to aim to, well, you know, it's certainly up to you, but you should try to keep, since you're the one in the middle, you should be the one trying to keep that front line up. So if one of us goes down, you have to replace us. Looking at Fenrir. Are you okay with that? Dante sure. Dante is like, uh, you guys are eating and uh, I'm assuming like crumbs are falling and like slop is like just yeah, spilling all over the that, table. That's, that's the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> Dante, <laughs> you guys see, you guys see Dante on like on on his side of the table and he eats everything like very OCD. The plate is really yeah, centered yeah, yeah. in front of him and the yeah. food on the plate is like segregated properly. And then <laughs> you know the 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 cup and the mug of ale is like perfect distance so that when he reaches it, his arm doesn't go past like a certain 
degrees. Yeah. So, like I, at some point, <laughs> I think Fato would have noticed that you always put your cup in like that same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it so, is like calculated AF, like all the degrees. Yeah, like you know, the most <laughs> efficient way to grab the cup without, ex- you know, yeah, without using expending too much energy. Yeah. So anyway, you guys have that conversation. Dante is just like trying to hold it in that. Uh, he's not gonna bark at you know you guys wasting food and spilling food on the table. Yeah, yeah, he's just yeah. gonna be polite and says, uh, "Yes, indeed. Uh, I do believe I fall under somewhere in the midline and the vanguard, uh, and I don't. I'm not quite able to get up front as quickly as you. I need some mm-hmm. time to prep, uh, so that is why I'll hang back for a little bit before jumping in. And if." Any foes break the front line, I am there to meet them. All right. Um, and then, uh, as soon as uh, uh, Dante finishes his sentence, a hand like shoots across him, and like it's covered a little bit in grease. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> it, 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 it almost topples over his glass. Um, and oh she's like, can you, can you just pass that over there? I just need an extra fork. I just can't. I need an extra fork to ha- hold this thing. Um, then um, Cinnabar is sitting beside Dante. Um, but her area, even though um, she is a meat eater, but it is absolutely full of scrap metal. And then she'll go, <laughs> I have told you many times, I can create something for you, but it just takes me three times as long if you keep bringing me stuff that is covered in blood. When you kill something, try not to make it bloody. <laughs> Dante just gets the fork and hands it to Sina, but he's he's just like taking a deep breath in. <laughs> like, oh my god, I'm filled with slobber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm filled with people that don't care about cleanliness. Yeah. Oh, well, is talking, he's Where's waving the around the turkey leg. Yeah, some oil <laughs> coming out of it, you know. Oh, yeah, getting a bit of Dante's face of it, you know. Yeah. And Fenrir's like, you want some of this, Dante? <laughs> he's like waving his face. He's like, so, um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Fatal looks at Sina and like, Sina, when it comes to healing, well, I'm not much for it. I don't think healing is the right way. I think you should be spending your time trying to, um, looking for the right word, the libe, at least try to control the opponent instead of, you know, healing Uh-oh. damages. Oh, hey, hey, happy hey, birthday. Hey, hey, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. That's what, guys. that's what Rico is doing. Yo. He's celebrating his birthday. Uh, are you He's playing with your... his birthday? <laughs> yeah. Are you Sorry, playing? Uh, mm. Are you playing then? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Oh. Not... Okay, now it's here. Yeah. Alright, alright. So, okay, okay. Yeah, so, yeah, let me some. reset the scene. So, <laughs> y'all are Yay. talking about that. And Dante is kind of like, you know, ho- taking a deep breath and then uh, Rico you come you come in from like the entrance to the dining hall and then it's like you're seeing the scene where like Cinnabar has a whole bunch of scrap laid to one side and like is trying to get a fork from Dante um, Fenrir is waving around a piece of meat and a lot of the oils and the spices are flying around the place. And then Fatal is talking strategy strangely. Like, you never thought that he, you never pegged him for a strategy man, considering that he said he's not the smartest in the Just, bunch. Wait, I'm an idiot, I'm charismatic, okay? <laughs> I, might have, I might have eight intelligence, but I have 17 charisma. <laughs> oh, there you go, there you go. <laughs> All right, so uh, Rico, that's the scene that you walk into. <laughs> what do you do? I walk in and I see this, and then I just say, uh, first of all, good morning to all of you. Second good of morning, all, Red what's Knight. going on? What is this? <laughs> we're talking about Dante. strategy, just in case we get into battle. Dante, um, Dante stands up. Dante stands up with his plate, and then he moves to a portion of this long table that's like the furthest from everyone else. And then <laughs> he like... passes. He passes by uh, Rico and says, "It's been a." Uh, one of those messier mornings, if you know what I mean. And then Dante sits down. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
okay. You you see Don uh, Rico just holding like um a, a scroll basically, but he's like just holding on to it. But he will um go on and uh join the rest of you guys after like getting a few uh food from the dining hall and okay. uh and uh, as he sits down he was asking uh so um carry on what you were discussing you said you were discussing strategy is it mm -hmm. about like what to do with the orcs or just like general stuff what, just, what... just just battle strategies you know just uh, putting some input from outside our friends uh, since we got into a fight since the night before uh right all okay. right Anyway, um, back to you, Sana, Sina, Sina, Sana. I said, okay, Sana, God, it's a League of Legends character, Sana. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. Um, Sina says, absolutely, I'll help with controlling. All right, uh, well, that's okay. I don't mind not getting healed. Um, that is fine with me. Um, certainly up to you when it comes to that situation, but as I said, I think our concentration should be taking down the enemy as fast as we can. So, find some spells would work much better, at least in my eyes, than healing spells. Um, Sina is absolutely head deep inside a, um, like, chain mail that's, like, torso. So yeah, like, she gets the chain mail, and, like, her voice echoes off. She's like, you got it! And it echoes. <laughs> right. and then, like, they yeah. forget. So, no, no, just saying, like, are you, is this you all the time? Do you, do you work 24-7? I haven't seen you sleep at all. You know, there's just some amazing concoctions that you can find around this place that can really get you going. It's um, White oh. Claw. Oh, okay. It can really get you going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll wow. keep that in mind. Um, it's, I'm a cleric myself, by the way, and um, I am a cleric of uh, fear, if you know the god, the god of justice. I know yeah, everyone knows that. Now I thought to say that because I wanted I wanted to know what what the fuck is up with her, with her you know magic thing. <laughs> and I, I, uh, I just I just kind of noticed that um your some of your spells uh, emit your ancestors or is it just the way um, your god works? She she pokes her head out from the armor and then she pushes it aside and she says, "Well, um, nor I." I worship the All Father, um, Moradin, um, oh, and okay. uh, um, I just feel like I have my family is quite important to us, Gold Dwarves. So um, I suppose that's why my spiritual guardians and my spiritual weapon, and I guess my guardian of faith, come out to look like my family. I don't mean for it to look like that. It just... I'm just, I'm just quite curious because um, you call one of them your mother. I mean. I didn't really expect it. I'm traveling out by here by myself, and I wanted to be a brave adventurer, but as soon as I prayed for it the first time, my mom came out. So now I just call her Ma. And then Faith kind of nods at that. I was like, okay. <laughs> quite, quite interesting. I, I offer, like, an explanation to Faith. I'll, I tell him a lot of clerics, most of their spells and their magic is shaped by their own faith since God's feed on the faith of their followers and in turn provide the magic for them, you know, so it's oh. kind of a unintended side effect, really. So with that given fact, um, at least that given knowledge, she said I'm not that smartest, but um, you, Red Knight, you, your magic is from the belief of your followers here around this keep and all over Faerun? Not exactly. Originally, when I entered this body, it was really, I was just running on its own natural magic because I'm a sorcerer. But then once I reobtained my divine domain over strategy and war, that's when I just slowly been feeding on the faith of everyone here in the Citadel. So that's how it works. Mostly. Okay. So you feed into their belief in you. Yes. It's uh, it's relatively harmless, you know. Okay. Dante. Relative. Well, you, you put it the word feeding, but okay. I just want to clarify. So, with that being said, you do have a limited amount of power as long as someone believes in you. Uh, 
there's that, but I'm also mostly limited because I am inside this body right now. It's really oh, all so new wait, to me. You know? This is this is quite news to me. So you are not you as of the moment because you are in a mortal body? Oh no no no. I'm completely the same person that well, I'm mostly forgotten, but you know, like now that I reminded everyone that I exist, I'm still the same person as I was. It's just that I also have this new identity I'm wearing, which is Rico Bishop, you know. Still the okay. same person. I'm not like possessing a, a poor nobleman's body against his will. I'm I'm mostly the same person. All right. Well, that's like that's, you're that's, that's you're all for yourself, dude. Dante is just on the <laughs> other side of the yeah. long. Dante is on the other side of the long table. He, like, doesn't really completely understand divine magic, or he he understands it when people explain it to him or explain it to each other, and then Dante is overhearing. But in his head, it's just like this isn't not this is not supposed to work. And then he like opens his notebook and then like goes through <laughs> arcane magic and was like. The reason why Sina manifests her mother is because, and he has like a, an arcane explanation <laughs> of it. It's, yeah. it's, it's not because of like fate or be- belief or whatever. He has a flowchart. Yeah. <laughs> let me, all right, let me, let me get it straight. I'm just trying to clarify things here, Red Knight, considering that the order of the gauntlet did set me to study upon you. Um, you are not possessing anybody but this is a body that you choose to own okay i'll now that it's a very nice segue to this and then i just hold this scroll and then i just explain to them like okay so here's the thing i never really this used to be common knowledge but then everyone forgot so i'll just tell it to everyone so here's the thing Long before I was the lady of strategy, I was actually a mortal woman just like everyone else. But this was like centuries ago. And then you see, as I grew up, I did something so profoundly amazing that Tempest came and offered me the position of being the goddess of strategy. And that's how I ascended and became also a god who can provide magic for clerics and paladins and everyone. But then something happened, but that's a very long story. We will skip that part. Something happened and people forgot me and then I died. But I came back and then I found my parents, the parents who made this, the people who made this body and I made a deal with them in exchange for you know, uh, in exchange for helping them, you know, like have a child through my magic, I will be given permission to possess this body. So, so yeah, they agreed. And I entered the infant they were carrying, which is me. And so, yeah, that's, that's how it worked. And, um, uh, this is, uh, I I actually really don't know how to break this to you. I, I address the sin. I, I don't know how to really address the, this to you, sin. It's kind of like, but I'm just going to tell it to you anyway. I literally just found this out last night. But um, you see, Sina, when I was still a mortal woman before, I never had children. I was like, there were too many wars and like mm-hmm. most of my lovers died. So I couldn't have like a baby. But fortunately, I had dozens of siblings you see and they were lucky enough to have children who went on to have children and they had their own children and then one of them married into a dwarven family and as you can see from the scroll um you were kind of like very this you're like a very distant relative of like my past life basically so yeah what interesting here we're building a family tree back yeah I... mm, yeah um... i know it's a it's a surprise too it's like what are the odds you know what are the odds? <laughs> do you have anything to to say to your long distant cousin Senna? <laughs> i mean other than i'm i'm not 
really sure how my parents are going to take this. I've been raised thinking that our bloodline was pure, you know, descended of pure dwarves. And um, hearing and finding out that a long distant relative from ages ago was a human is. And a god, by the way. And a god. god. Well, well, it's not like, well, yeah, I. Uh, but that happened mostly, you know, I'm mostly like a distant uncle of, or aunt of yours, you know, and and I wasn't like born a god. I just became one in the, so yeah. For the record, I am not calling you uncle. I'm still calling you boss, right? That's oh, fine. Nice. Yes, yes. It feels <laughs> odd, really. Uncle. Sina uh, um, will be very quiet, and then she'll say, I think I'll need to have to, uh, take this in um and then she'll like uh hop off her chair uh yep. and then uh pack her tools away very neatly and then uh uh leave the room yeah okay. and like for me then i look at i look at the red knight and i'm like so red knight just the final question um never got to ask you this but what what happens when you um well die in the field of battle do you do you even die? Is that, is that like a thing that still works for you? Or do you uh, just reincarnate to another body? Or If I'm being honest, I'm not sure. I mean, if someone bothers enough to cast a resurrection spell on me, I can still return, but it really depends, you know? My, I mean, my soul is mo free, so... It can, I'm not sure really. It's, uh, it's not really something I ponder on. Okay. And, yeah. So failed this kind of nods, and I'm just like, well, maybe we should talk to the smartest man in the group. Dante, what do you think? Dante still like, you know, writing and like, I was like, divine magic? Right. What is divine magic? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got it. And then like, Fatal just kind of retracts his, uh, yeah. that he said, this guy, oh, okay, well, Dante is busy, friend, here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, you know anything about gods and these things, Fenrir? Well, everyone's talking, Fenrir is just, you know, eating while looking at them attentively. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so Fenrir is also as some as much awe as I am. Well, I guess that's it. And then like uh just head up just eating quietly my porridge, pondering as well, with whatever intelligence I have, what the fuck he just said. <laughs> <laughs> so the difference is that day is just like figuring things out, Fatal is just kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> No, I mean, I'd say like Dante was listening, but because of his busy. his because of his nature, he doesn't like uh, show if you know he's uh, peak or like his interest has been piqued by a conversation or he because he's very good at hiding, you know, those things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, like outside, like in his notes, outside of just figuring out divine magic he also writes like symbols that is a cipher for him that only he can understand oh okay okay yeah so he has like, some sort of some sort of code for himself yeah okay it's like and the wizard's thief scan yeah, yeah. it is thief scan that that's it for me got the information i needed just curious what happens if the red knight does die in the field of battle, that's one thing. Why? Why Maybe is that? We'll find out today, you know. Why is that, that a that's, that's, that's a god specific. thing, right? Like they don't die. <laughs> like that's that's at least in my mind of whatever little intelligence I have. That's what I that's what I confer to. Yeah, yeah. And Fatal Smiles like gods can't die. <laughs> yeah, you can't. Like fear never died before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? This is weird because like the, the situation of the Red Knight is that. She died because people stopped believing her. Now that people believe in you again, does that mean that you're still mortal? Or as long as they believe in you, you can't die. Like, that's what I'm thinking. That's the argument in my head. Questions, questions. Yeah, like, the more, oh. it's like, the questions that lead to more questions, never answers. Fenrir just chimes in and says, well, Odin dies and he gets reborn. Like, that's the cycle of Ragnarok, you know? 
the real the Norse Fenrir is about. You did say that the All Father died. I don't. I don't have religion proficiency. Okay, so I can't. Really... <laughs> <laughs> I, just oh, know Pierce, I just know Pierce, my God. So I am. I, 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 I am. I am. Oh, like you do know, Thier lost his arm, right? Like, I am aware of the history of my God and Ragnarok, but Ragnarok is a different instance from just you. The Red Knight fell off from the face of the earth. Or the face of Aaron, you know what I mean? But our gods, the All Father, Tyr, they've always been something that's been there. Well, uh, anything sufficiently powerful can can disrupt the gods' abilities. Actually, it was a Dreadlord that killed me the first time, so oh, that's... A uh, Dreadlord. Yeah. When you're trapped in the Shadowfell, specifically in a dread plane, a lot of nonsensical things can happen, including a god's death. So, mm. Mm. yes. This is all true. All right, then. I will, I will make a note never to visit that place then. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. will make a note to never become a god because they still die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Dante starts to wonder, like, after they talk about gods, Dante starts to wonder, Wait, uh, Azuth and Mistra, they are gods of arcane magic. When they perform magic, is it That's arcane true. or divine? <laughs> oh, no, he, no, he wonders this to, he wonders this to himself, yeah. Yeah. Is okay, that... yeah, that's that's a good thing to ponder on. <laughs> is this Cause that is true? Is it is it divine? <laughs> Even I'm pondering. Oh my god, yeah. What the shit? Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> What's this? What is this? Because this is magic, right? Like she has some magic, but yeah. does she still use divine magic? <laughs> yeah. Is she a god? What what is this? Yeah. So well, Dante is just gonna think about that the whole day. Yeah. Okay. Since then. Dante right now is like that meme, you know, when they. I forgot what they call that meme, but the dude starts off with pointing his finger up and then it's slowly yeah. going down <laughs> until he's drinking in the corner in the bar. Yeah. You're like that right now. Yeah. My whole life was a lie. I was thinking more like, is Mistara divine or again? It's more like, which is heavy, feathers or steel? <laughs> oh, yeah, the Lenny show. Yeah, the Lenny show was heavier. <laughs> <sighs> okay, so anyways. <laughs> we'll never have the answer. We'll never have the answer, man. <laughs> okay, so... Um, anyone else want to say anything to the party before you head out? Like, you're having a nice, good meal in Rico Bishop's church. You know, do you know what I'm just guessing? What Sina just posted? What, um... It's just like, that's all our face. The one she just posted. It's just sensual crisis intensifies. <laughs> <laughs> We're just all just like staring at the nothingness. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I do have a question. Turkey, that's all. <laughs> I do have a question, you guys. Um, so the the or the or, the lady. Um, her name is Esma. Apparently, Isma. do you do you all think she could be trusted, or do you think you know like it's a trick? Like I do want your input on this one. I think it's worth uh, investigating. We just have to keep our, you know, defenses up if ever. That's true. I was actually, I wanted to suggest, and I want to know from you guys if it's a good idea, but do you think, do you think it would be rude or it would anger her if I asked her if we could have a discussion on what she wants from us while, while she's under the zone of truth spell? I mean, um, if she's being truthful, then she might, you know, not have a problem, right? Or do you think it would just cause... It's good to tell her, if ever. What is that? It's good to tell her that she would like to question her under the, so the zone of truth spell. Right. I and, would appreciate uh, the precaution as well. Yeah. So you, you all are in agreement that I would bring this up to her? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay, okay. And uh, just for transparency's sake as well, I would also have one of you cast the Zone of Truth spell on me as well. Just as long as the both of us are being truthful, then... You I know. don't... 
I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> I should have it. I'm not that. But I'm, not, I'm not in the room, but I should have it. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Oh yeah, speaking of, everybody spells like it's all ready for today. Like you yeah. can take a bit of time today to get all of that changed if you want to change. Prepped. Yeah. No, yeah. Dante preps his I spell can't... book for the next day, the night before. <laughs> I can't, I yes, can't change do. mine. Because I'm a sorcerer. But you also have cleric spells right? though. Uh, the cleric spells are like, I don't have any. <laughs> I don't do the <laughs> Dude, it's so useful though. I mean, yeah, it's still you, useful, you can have dude. zero prepared. That's I only have great. sanctuary and bless, that's it. That's all yeah, I that's... have. That's all you need. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I need. You know, cure wounds is need. not an impure, it's not an important spell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to cure people. Cure wounds? What the hell is that? Cure all right, all right. Okay, so everybody's spells are ready. Mm. Then, okay, I'll go ahead and say that all of you are heading towards the forest where you saw Esma last night. Oops. Yeah. Cool. Alright, um, I'll skip ahead to that part, or like, do you all want to have an interaction while horseback riding there? I'm good. Yeah, we can right. skip. Okay, so, you arrived there, and sure enough, Esma was there waiting for all of you. Her cloak is on her at the moment because it's daytime, so she doesn't want to be, like, shot down by guards. So... Yeah. Yeah, like, sh there she is, she beckons you to come to the tree line so that, you know, y'all are, like, out of sight and you can discuss. Um, before, uh, we head to her, uh, Sina will whisper to, uh, Rico and say, Just let me know when you want the Zone of Truth cast in. Oh, uh, I'll tell you when to activate it. I still need to ask, like, if she's all right with it, you know? And yeah. if we try to cast it behind her back, she might suspect we're being duplicitous, and I don't want that. Uh, it's an anon. She got it, boss. Thank you. Okay. All right, so you enter the tree line, out of sight of, like, everybody. And there are a couple of animals around, though. So... Uh, is Kyoshi around right now, or is still in the pocket dimension? She's in the pocket dimension. Okay. She would have liked interacting with the animals right now, but it's fine. <laughs> that's, one the, that's one of the things that people said. It's like, what, where's the dog? <laughs> where's the puppy? <laughs> where where the was that thing? <laughs> All was, right. it, was it the Red Knight's pet? <laughs> what was it doing out there? Oh, that is a very... <laughs> That's a very logical conflation there. Right. Okay. During the travel time, talk to Sina about crafting a bow. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so you two had that conversation en route. Um. Um. I, I wanna. I get some. Yeah. Can we can we speak to Esma on the way? Like, or is she? Oh, you're you're meeting her in the forest. So yeah, you're we're about to meet her on the okay. way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was, because I wanted to ask her, like, are you taking, where are you taking us, you know, like, do we have time to discuss plans or something, like. Oh, no, 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 you're going to do that now. You're going to uh, talk about what her request is, I mean, other than the gist of it, which is to help her free her orc. Okay. Her orc um, stronghold people. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, um... About the bow, we'll talk about that later. It's just like some stuff that you'll have to prepare during downtime. So yeah. You had that conversation with Sin of Enrir. Don't worry. Okay, so... Esma is there with you all. She, while in the tree line, like takes it off for a bit. Trying to, you know, like, <laughs> communicate that she's not trying to hide anything right now. And then she asks all of you if um, you're all ready to hear the rest of the details for the request. I tell Esma, we are ready to hear you out, Esma, but I do have a request. And I have no intention of offending you by asking this, but I was hoping that 
while we are having this conversation, I offered that the both of us be under a zone of truth spell to ensure that none of us are being duplicitous. Would you would you agree to that? And she kind of thinks about it for a moment, because like she's not familiar with what the zone of truth is, but she can kind of guess what that is. And then she's like, fine, I will be under this zone of yours. Okay. And then I, I tell Sina like... But before hey. you do that, okay. I do have to bring out one other surprise I have. And okay. then from Not like... <laughs> from like behind all of you there's like this other robed figure he looks pretty well dressed but then something you notice from the from the like head of the cloak because he's wearing a cloak to obscure himself you notice that there are um tentacles flowing down what? oh shit <laughs> nani yeah. We get surprised, like, oh my god! I oh I god. kind of just like gesture towards my mace, which is under the right thing. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> the, yeah. You didn't notice this thing, right? Uh, no, you didn't notice that thing. Yeah, so we just kind of got like shocked that it appeared. Yeah, and then Dante says, Dante don't says, him. Oh, okay. Da da <laughs> yeah. Don't attack him. Dante says, we don't like surprises, Esma. Yes. Yeah, I certainly do not like whatever that thing is. Well, oh yeah, and <laughs> whatever that thing is, it like kind of says to you in a very deep and like very hard to understand voice. Like, I'm trying to get the voice ready. It's like, well, I am a good surprise, I assure you. And then he also takes off his cloak, and it's a hideous looking thing. If, <laughs> like, I don't think any of you have ever seen what a mind flare looks like. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't like, know. none of you, I think. Yeah. So, Even Cinnabar, who's lived in a mountain, I don't think she'd know. They so, don't know. They by the gods. Yeah, it's an ugly looking thing. Its head looks it's like, like that. Bus, yeah. yeah a very its cool skin design. looks super slimy. Its clothes look super slimy too. And um, yeah. yeah, the chin part, it's like ten four tentacles flowing below it. And it's wearing robes underneath the cloak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then Asma says that uh, this uh, thing, its name is... Uh, wait, where is it? Its name is Cephalosk. Uh, I'll type it out. Cephalosk. Cephalosk. Cephalopod. Hey, it's a thing like from Cephalopod. <laughs> oh, that's one too many P's and one too little S's. There you go. Cephalosk. Okay. <laughs> This is Cephalosk, and he is going to be the key person who's going to make sure that we successfully free the orcs. Uh, begging your pardon, Miss Esma, but how do you know we can um, trust Mr. Cephalosk here? Well, we can cast the this, this spell over the three of us then. So, so first of all, what what is he? <laughs> and then Esma says, Esma says, he's one of those kinds of creatures that you'll meet trying to free my clan. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so you all get a good look of what a Mind Flayer kind of looks like, so you mm -hmm. won't be going into the Underdark super surprised. Okay. Yeah. Uh... All right. Um, so, so, like, all of you want to be in a zone of truth right now, right? And Cephalos, yeah. understanding this whole situation, is like, understood. I shall okay. submit myself to the spell. Dante okay, won't. Good. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, then Sina will uh, step forward, uh, and then she'll kind of, like, 
put her hands together as if she's praying. And then uh, she'll say, for those who... For those who want the truth revealed, open hearts and secrets and sell, sealed, from now until it's now again, after which the memory ends. And then um, nothing happens, like, in terms of visual, but now in, like, this little zone of truth, if if anyone speaks, there's a very faint echo. Nice. There's a very faint Big echo. clap! Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice. Okay, and um, Esma and Cephalos both, they are failing the spell purposely. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so do I. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Because, like, you would know if someone succeeded, if I'm not mistaken. Like, that's part of the spell. Mm. Yeah. Alright, so, you can ask your questions. Okay. Now, uh, Esma, my question is... Um, please start from the beginning and tell me why you chose us to um, ask for help over your brethren, please. Okay, so she says, well, it would have been anybody really, but then it just so happens that you are apparently a strong individual. I've heard the rumors of a new god coming into the Faerun, and it happened to be you. So, with that in mind, since our since our orcs were trying to raid your citadel, I decided that if I were going to have an ally to free us, I would want it to be a god. Right. Okay. And uh, and uh, and then I asked Asma, and how did Mister Cephalosk over here came into the equation? And uh, the Cephalosk asked him, and what motivates you to aid her for this? Okay, so Asma gestures to Cephalosk to speak, and I think this is going to be the first time you see him try to speak up close. So yeah, it looks really disgusting because he tucks one of his tentacles into his mouth in order to speak. Uh, and then, yeah, it looks really disgusting for everyone who's not <laughs> who's not a mind flayer. Nice. So, yeah, and then it says, uh, my reasons are very simple. I am what you would call a renegade mind flayer. My colony was destroyed long ago. And ever since I have been freed from the Elder Brain, I have had time to contemplate the Mind Flayer's existence. Do you want to have a follow-up question? Because he'll continue talking. Uh, no, I, I let him continue. Okay. <clears throat> then he says, You see, the Elder Brain and the Mind Flayers they operate by the grand design. And the grand design is that all mind flayers will gather and we will rebuild our empire from long ago. And this empire would not just be in Faerun, it would stretch across all the planes. But then, while I was not connected to the Elder Brain, since they got destroyed, I was able to contemplate our existence, to think about the grand design, and how fatally flawed that system is. And so I decided, it will be my mission to make a new life for myself and eventually a new design for the Mind Flayer's existence. I, I just nod the whole time and I tell him I can understand someone trying to reinvent themselves. So then how did the both of you meet then? And how did that happen? 
Okay, so Esma won't speak this time. She says that, well, I was also under the influence of the Mind Flayers up until this one showed up, pointing at Cephalosk. He was able to restore my broken mind. And then Cephalosk speaks this time. Yes. That is what our kind does. In order to create thralls, they will deplete the mind energies of their would-be thralls. And what I did was simply free her so that I can have someone be my... <laughs> my um communicator in a way like i'm trying to find the word here my ambassador my right. ambassador for you see if i were to communicate to you directly i would be almost certain that i'd be shot down first that's true very well if that is the case then uh i want to ask what exactly is this threat that is bothering Esma's uh, people? And um, are they the same creatures as you, Cephalosk, or are they something else entirely? So Cephalosk says, I have reason to believe that it is an elder brain, for I've seen how coordinated the mind flayers are. You see, and they'll kind of like explain a bit of mind flare culture here. I'll take away yeah. the accent for a bit because like, it's hard to maintain it. Yeah. So she basically tells you that the mind flayers operate like a hive mind with yeah. the elder brain being the center of it all. Mm -mm. Yeah. So he believes it's an elder brain because whenever something is going wrong, like especially the time he freed Asma. All of a sudden, the Mind Flayers knew that something was up. Because, um, like, normally, if there wasn't an Elder Brain involved, they wouldn't know. Like, they would have to figure that out by seeing it somehow, or hearing about it somehow. But they just knew. So, okay. he has reason to believe that this might be an Elder Brain scenario, where the colony has an Elder Brain somewhere in the Underdark. And... Okay. Yeah, and then other than that, he's pretty certain that um, one of the demon lords are involved. He can't say for certain which one, because okay. he saw like those demonic orcs that you all fought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those demonic looking orcs. So it kind of like clicks like, oh, okay, this is probably the doing of some demon lord. Um. And then, yeah, like, he also furthermore says that if you are to go to the Underdark, you have to be very careful because the way that the Elder Brain works is that if it connects to the mind of a Mind Flayer, then they basically kind of, like, lose their will. Yeah. Yeah, they, they just become part of the Hive Mind at that point. And Cephalosk tells you that he has prepared for this, like, by wearing a ring of mind shielding, which he shows all of you. So oh, well, he shall we have some of that? <laughs> he tells you that I only have one for me and the other one, pointing to Asma. For okay. you all, you will have to figure out your own way. However, from my studies of the arcane arts, I have learned that a spell called non-detection will also suffice. Non-detection? Does anyone have that spell? Yeah, does anyone have that spell? What? I don't think not. so. Nope. Ooh, shit, no one has non-detection. Let me see, let me check. I don't think so, but nope. let me see. Uh, let me get my phone real quick. Okay. Third level spell, Abjuration. For the duration, you hide a target that you touch from divination magic. The target can be a willing creature or place an object no larger than 10 feet in any dimension. 
The target can't yep. be targeted by any divination magic or perceived through magical scrying sensors. It's good if you're infiltrating a fortress made by a lich or something. Mm. Yeah, it's good for that and other yeah. And also, I didn't, I didn't think of the elder brain knowing this, so I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh no, it's not the elder brain that knows this. It's a philosophy. Ah, yeah, it's a philosophy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I usually think it's a good spell if you're infiltrating like a really smart creatures like place, but like I didn't. I'm a cleric. I have shitty intelligence, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think of this. <laughs> Nor will Fatal think of it either. So. Well, then he tells you then, and you will have to be very creative. For once you reach its zone of effect, it will know that you are around. However, it will not know your intent. I see. Okay. Well, what does this elder brain exactly do, or what does your kind do? What do you affect? Is it the minds of people, considering that you call yourself Mind Flayer? We call ourselves Illithid. Mind flayers are just what your people call us. Oh. Okay. And so you, uh, what was your question again? <laughs> like, technically, the, like, how do they attack? How do you attack? What do you attack? Like, you know. Oh, how do they attack? Mm -hmm. Well, he says we do not attack with hand on, with fisticuffs. We use our minds to blast mental energy into your heads. Okay. That's... Looking at Dante, is like, does that affect intelligence or sorts or anything like that? It affects will. Will. Alright. Yeah. Okay. I do not like this. I Dante do not like expresses. this either. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Intelligent creatures such as yourselves, they will want to harvest you or use you for reproduction. That, uh, doesn't, that doesn't sound very well for you, Dante. At least you don't want to kill us because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh no. Dante oh, no. steps forward and like goes really close to Cephalos. Listen here, Cephalos. Too many people have played with my mind and I will not enter the Underdark unprepared. If there's anything else that you have left out, you will spit it out now. What would you like to know, tasty one? Like, this is the first time that he saw you and like really paid attention to you and you have, I yeah. think, the highest dent out of yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so he couldn't help but let that one out. Yeah, that's like a vampire smelling blood or like a shark smelling blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dante is just gonna say... How... We know the plan to enter and to infiltrate what what is the elder brain brain's weakness what is your weakness how do we defeat you as quickly as efficiently as possible well you would be best uh, it would be best if you could ask a gif about that they have been hunting our kind for all eternity a gif a gif not the, yeah. the gift one, okay. Yeah, not the gift. Not the not gift. gift. Yeah, like it's the gift. Dante says, I've heard of these Githyanki and Githzerai, but uh, one has not been. Any? I have. We have not seen any of them for a while. Where would we find these people? The thing is, I've met a few of their souls in Warrior's Rest, but that's it. I haven't met a living one, personally. Can you return to Warrior's Rest? Not not in this condition, no. I don't have a spell going there. Yeah. And then, uh, he furthermore points out, even if I did know one, I would not want to meet a Gitzerai. For Wait a minute. See, if I see one, they will most likely cut me down. Right. Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking. 
the night I would not like to be the person who would say this to you, but I gotta say it, we are ill prepared for this journey. That is true. Well, you see, you do not have to kill the elder brain to make it get away from here. What do I have to do? All you have to do is, as this lady has requested, liberate their kind. So and I'm then... killing the mind flares, your kind, and one controlling all of them? Yes. Okay. How many mind flares are there? Well, I have not been to this colony yet, but on my mission to save Esma from her stupor, I encountered at least a dozen. Dozen. If we can pick them off one by one, I think we have a chance, but fighting all 12 of them would be a problem. Yeah. Indeed. But that would entail separating them. And that will be difficult considering that the, my, the elder brain always knows where you are within its lair. The only way to do this is if we could try and draw them out. But I don't know any way to do that. No, yeah. We are at a disadvantage here. If we enter the Underdark, the Elder Brain will know where we are and coordinate against us. We're unfamiliar with the Underdark, so... The Phalos does point out, though, that the only thing that the Elder Brain will know is that there are intelligent creatures in their territory. They will not know your intent. Right. Okay. okay. Is it possible to bring rather smart, intelligent people there to draw them out. We use as bait. <laughs> Looks at Dante. I'm more looking at Sephiroth, so I was like, we can use some of the bait. <laughs> uh, he says that that is a very bad idea for if, if I lose my ri ring of mind shielding then I will become your enemy once more. I see. So you are, you are coming with us, though. I don't think it's wise to bring him anywhere near the Elder Brain. So... I don't think stay... it's wise for us to be anywhere near the Elder Brain. Yes, I agree with that as well. All right, Cephalosk. If we are facing more of you, you must tell us what your abilities are, what your fighting tactics are. All, all of these things. Sure. And with that in mind, you all have access to the mind flares. Mind flares, that, that shit. Yeah, okay. yeah Great. basically. Yeah, no, the, the more, now I realize that like, the, more, like, the more I'm like, we are ill prepared for this red <laughs> <laughs> So what can we do to counter them knowing that these are the things they can do? Let me, mm. let me get that out. Yeah, I'm also trying to find it right now. Is it done? I have a, okay, I have I a picture. You can just look. You can just Google it. They have okay. like a for my flare. Just Google that one. All right, there you go. And you can just pop it open. I have so a picture of this way me. back when, when I was letting you guys fight mind flares, but it's gone. I can't find it. We're fighting the regular mind flares, not Arcanist, Lich, or No. Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, Cephalos tells you it's very unlikely that you'll fight an Arcanist because they, they don't like them. more magic. Yeah, they don't, they don't like them. Detect thoughts, levitate, dominate monster, plane shift, magic resistance, advantage, also. tentacles, extract brain, what the hell? Yeah, that's like, that's not okay. it. Do I know that Dante was charmed before? I don't know. Would Dante talk about that? Nope. Would anyone so. talk about that? Dang it. Only Rico knows. That would be helpful. Okay, only Rico knows. He hasn't found Is any way one to the, not be charmed. The one with the tentacles, extract brain, and mind. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's the one. Yes. Yes. That's the one. Yeah. Psychic energy. Come on. Uh, so they have magic resistance, so that's gonna suck for the spellcasters. That's fine. Yeah. They have
have telepathy, they can levitate. Yeah, at will levitate. They can uh, detect your thoughts. Does that mean that my... Does it have resistance to my swords? Or just... Do you mean no? the magic resistance? No. Just spells. Yeah. Yeah. Just spells. Okay. So my ice and fire could still hurt it? Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it'll hurt it. The full damage. Okay. Yeah, I mean, if you get the jump on them, they're most likely gonna die. <laughs> That's probably gonna. Uh, be for one. him, yeah, for him. Yeah. Uh, ben, yeah. yeah, you you could easily kill one of these six in one turn. In one turn, yeah, like yeah. easily. I I expl after we look through their abilities, I explain to the others. Listen, guys, um, I can create a field of darkness, and based on the information that Cephalos share. They, they, they have dark vision, but they can't perceive through magical, magical darkness. darkness. Yes, that's I enough. can perceive through magical darkness, but the problem is you guys can't. What I can do is momentarily blind him at times, and then when it's your turn to attack, I would leave the area and leave him smart. exposed to you guys. Not as smart. I can bless everyone mm. to give him strength against the will or whatever these things do. Yeah, to give you a bit of an edge against the mind blasts, right? Yes, and I have a cloak as well that can protect me. Okay. If if the abilities of the mind flyer rely on sight, then I could have a chance to try and um, compromise it so he won't be able to get you guys. Well, I mean, Rico, you would know this, but like their dominate monster ability, that one relies on sight. But yeah, that one, that one, right? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't rely on anything, guys, except for dice rolls, so just say. <laughs> We're gonna see how the dice works. <laughs> We're gonna see how the dice works. Holy crap, if all of you fail to dominate monster, that's the end of the campaign. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the end of the campaign, right? There's no, there's no re roll for that, right? You can't roll for it once you're dominated. I mean, we can see what happens after. Maybe it's damage. not the end of the campaign, but it's gonna be very Yeah, you have bad. to take damage. So, like, if all of us get Dominate Monster all at once, then yeah, we're, 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 we're tactically defeated at that point. If any yeah. one of us gets dominated, we attack them. Yes. Wait, is that what Dante told us? That's what Dante told you guys. <laughs> Okay, I, I also <laughs> agree with that as well. Like, how not... so? Like Fatal is kind of just like so. Uh, how hard should we hit you? <laughs> Get... Not obviously fate. Not like harmfully, but you know, just a bit of hard. Enough to knock, knock some sense into us, you know, and keep away from the money maker. You know, you might, you might have to do that to me a couple of times. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but do not hesitate. If that's one way that I could get out of this stupor of theirs. And then Dante da Dante says, if we are, if there is the chance of attacking each of one, I guess we must uh, explain how best to damage one another. I know that the frontliners have very high armor and a very large, um, very strong armor and can move around quickly. So regular attacks will not work on them. Uh, if Fatal or Fenrir get dominated, we spellcasters have to uh, use a spell on them to damage them. I suggest, I suggest spells like that would require me at least to use my brain or <laughs> try to dodge it. No. Wink, wink. You know those stats? Wink, wink. <laughs> you use my brain and try to dodge it. Wink, wink. Okay. I'm not very... Uh, what do you call this? I'm not like cat, like I'm more of a dog. <laughs> mm, more of a dog. Yeah, I, I, like technically I'm not dexterous and I'm not very smart, so. In any case, the, the important thing is we just make sure we hit uh, each other while dealing the as low damage as we can. Yeah. Someone should be delegated in that task. Try to take us out of that. You know what I mean? Mm. Whatever, whatever low-level spell you have that can Man. harm us a bit, a little bit, you can try using that. Don't delegate your highest level on us, obviously. Dante, oh. Dante thinks even more. And then DM, I want to ask: uh, oh, the ring that I have 
requires object interaction, no? To yeah, use on myself. An object interaction. If I use it on someone else, that'll be an action. And yeah, then what auto. is the what are the role? It's an action, but it's free. Like it just, I just get them poisoned. Uh, I have uh, to roll I something. Mean, you have to attack roll them because. Okay, this is assuming that they are your enemies at that point. Uh, it's gonna be an AC thing. Like you have to okay, make an attack Okay. Draw. Okay. Dante changes his mind and then he doesn't want to risk anyone getting. Uh, so Dante explains. Listen. I have this ring and I coat it and on the inside, on the palm side of this, this ring, it has a spike coated with a poison. Okay. This poison deals a little bit of damage over the course of a few minutes and I also have the antidote. I have enough for six uses. So that is more than enough for each of us. The five of us can have uh, a dose of this poison each. Uh, okay. My recommendation is you apply it to one of your weapons, a dagger or a pin needle, I don't know, a screwdriver, and looking at Sina. <laughs> at the beginning of the fight against these mind flayers, we poison ourselves. Okay. Okay. Throughout the course of the encounter, every minute that passes, we will get damaged by this. So if ever, oh, every minute, every or like round. every round, yeah. <laughs> yeah every oh, round. that's correct. Every six <laughs> seconds. Every minute every is seconds. like what? <laughs> yeah. yeah like, okay. Every round. Round at that point, yeah. So, that is, that is my precaution for these things. Okay. So Falas looks at your tasty head even more. <laughs> so smart. I will rely on my bluff if you don't mind, and my cloak. Of course. I just prefer redundancy. Okay. Yes. That uh, is true. Now the thing is, if they're mostly gathered, we can't isolate them. Uh, how do we do this? Just, uh, you're, my, you're, you're the strategician here. The I, think, I think we can go with Fenrir's idea. <laughs> Dante yeah, just shrugs. I think that's, we Dante, can try that one out. Dante shrugs. I'll, I'll, right, so, I'll try to separate a few, lure them in. You guys hide. Although, ah, and then Dante just... Dante looks at Esma. Dante looks at Esma. Esma, do we have to do this today? <laughs> Yeah, do we have to do this today? <laughs> Can yeah. we like give it one day to prepare? <laughs> yeah. What would you need to prepare in one day? I will learn the non-detection spell today. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, I'll so, go, and I need to buy a few items uh, to even the odds as well. You know. All right, she says. All right, but make it quick for. Who knows what else is going to happen in this uh, 24 hour span. Okay. We just need a day. That's it, to strategize. Considering that it's only going to be the four of us going down there. Okay. Oh, there's five of you. One. Five. Yeah, no, yeah, five, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, five. <laughs> My he bad. was so willing to just throw Dante in first, and then the four of them. The <laughs> four of us, yeah. It's, My bad. it's seven of you, because there's also Asma and Cephalos. But they're not. Are they going to help us fight? Oh, th did they not make that clear? They are trying to help this okay. out. Because okay, 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 okay. Cool, 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 cool. wants the Elder Brain to get out of there, and Asma wants the Arcs to be free. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of us, but still we need to prepare for it. Yeah, you do. Cool. To so to expedite this, Dante does want to get paid for the poison that he's gonna give to you guys. Uh, no, I'm not, not getting poisoned. I understand. Yeah, I'm not getting poisoned though. Dude, I'll, I'll okay. Like my blood. Dante will <laughs> will not like will, that. Will he, convince, will he convince me? Dante will try. Uh, Dante, I'll Dante. try to convince Fatal as well. Yeah, okay. Like, listen. <laughs> okay, 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 but I don't have a lot of money, okay? <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> I do have a thousand gold, how much do you need? 
You will pay me later. Dude, you can you can like half the you can distribute the five thousand gold. Yeah, yeah, because we already you're getting a day to do this. You have yeah, enough time did. to sell it all. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What items would help? What items would help? Uh, will boots of elven kind be useful for me to buy? <laughs> right now. Well, not I right mean, now. Yeah. Not right now, cause like okay. based on what they told you, if they can detect you with the elder brain's um, telepathy, then it doesn't matter how sneaky you are. Okay. Yeah. So might as well get the javelin. Get yeah. like ring of mind shielding if we can even find that. Uh, that's you can rare, right? that. Yeah, that's you can. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you own one that has it right now. Not only that, but like it. It makes it very questionable when it comes to like laws and stuff. It's like, why yeah, do you yeah, want yeah. that of all things? You want so to what... not be detected by divination magic? Hmm. <laughs> so like, that that makes you sound like a freaking like criminal or something. Um. Something. Yeah. So what do we have when it comes to choice? Stop. I wanted to buy a gem of brightness so I can blind any mind flayer. Ooh. I don't know what I'm... Blinding a mind flare would be pretty cool. Yeah. Is it... Is it... Can you afford it? That's the question. Yeah, I have like a thousand gold. And last time I asked Link, you said it was like around 400 GP or 500. Yeah, you could have a gem of brightness if you want. Okay. okay. I'm buying that. Go ahead. Uh, what should I get? I don't... I don't know what's gonna help me. Uh, I don't know either, man. You can buy potions, though. Yeah, yeah, but, like... Mm. You guys will need to prepare the non-detection spell. I think there's um, a real component for that. So yeah, it's 20, 25 gold per casting. Yeah, so I'll pay for uh, that one. Sina will um, use her uh, artisan's blessings. Yeah. And uh, she will uh, basically uh, conduct, like, an hour-long ritual to craft... Um, uh, weapons and armor that she can basically sell for, because it basically creates stuff that's like a hundred gold. Nice. She's breaking oh, the God. game by making infinite money. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's one thing you'll do in Skyrim repeatedly. Yeah. <laughs> like level one she's, Skyrim, you just keep doing that exploit. She's, like, she's just slowly building up her bank account um, and then stuffing it into her bag of holding so that uh, the... Bill. Where do I put? Where do I put my gold here? Oh, currency. There you go. Found it. Found it. Found it. Found it. Uh, Get a javelin of lightning. <laughs> yeah. uh, how much are those? Shit. Did I get a four hundred sixty-five. Ah, uh, per per the thing, right? Yeah. You can always buy. pick it up. You know. You always yeah, pick you it up pick again. It up. You just have to buy one. Oh, I would love that. Wait, how much do I pay? Four hundred link GP. Yeah, 400 oh. GP for a gem of brightness. Okay. 465 for anybody who wants to buy a javelin of lightning. Yeah, no. Nah, if you want to flavor it, by the way, maybe we can make it a javelin of fire or ice or something. If you're yeah, no, I'm fine with it being lightning because, you know, uh, I, uh, I basically will take my cue from Fatal and when okay. I throw it, I say, Gee, I can do that too! <laughs> Yeah, I love that. I love that. Okay. Oh, That'll be fun. That'll be fun, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, so give yourself a javelin of lightning and 465 less gold. Um, You have non-detection, Dante. Like, did you I study that? Or like, no, did you just prepare I'm, it? No, I'm going to learn it for six hours and spend 150 gold. Oh shit. Uh, that's okay. the wizard life right there. That's the wizard life right there. And then if there are five <laughs> castings, that's 25 times, that's 125 GP. But then for... we, we're bypassing that because we're like using the thingy, right? From mm. Sana? Huh? To get more gold, you mean? Uh, yeah, to get more gold, yeah. To get more gold, so. more gold so that we can give Dante the money to. We literally, that she can get more gold, she can get 100 more gold. That's crazy. Yeah, can. Can you guys do that to reimburse Dante's? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Also for the poison. You're breaking the game now. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> what is it for once per day? Right? Once per day. What's once? I know, but imagine being given a month and doing that. 
Yeah. yeah. Right? Wow. Just like that. Wow. Okay, remind me, remind me that if I start a campaign, damn. <laughs> if we have like a month long thing and then like char the character, one of my players made it, I'm just gonna be doing after just blessing every day. It's like, oh shit. <laughs> the golden gold dwarf is being shown right now. Yes. Dang, that's awesome. No more than one RNG. Well, that's that's why actually you're really good dwarf. when you're level one. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm a gold dwarf because I make gold. <laughs> <laughs> Literally make gold. I know. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. So non-detection, you have it ready. You have the five components for casting it. How long is the duration, I wonder? Eight, Eight hours. hours. Eight hours. So you can do oh. it before we go in. Yeah, you can do it before you go in. Okay. We Any other prep to do? Potions? Gem of brightness. Like, there's no potions that can help me. Aside for potion of poison resistance, but that's like, it's just 1d8, right? Damage. Potion of what resistance? Poison, poison resistance. resistance. Because we're getting poisoned, but like, it only does like, how much damage does it do? Something? 1d4. Oh my god, fuck that. It's a tickle. <laughs> It's a tickle. It's a tickle. Although, Sin is uh, resistant to poison because she's a dwarf. Yeah, oh my god! Oh, it's not gonna work on you! <laughs> oh! Resistance or half damage? Just half damage! damage. Okay, damage. great. Two so, damage. It's like getting a hangnail or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, wait. Um, Sin, are you immune to the poison condition? No, not, just, in, not immune, just yeah. resistance. Just resistance. Oh, okay, okay. Great. Good, resistance. good, good. Oh, okay, I remember now. It's advantage on saves against being poisoned. Poison. Yeah. And also you have resistance to poison damage. The, okay. so I, I just, I approached that as advantage. Do you need anything? Because I, I really don't know what to buy. <laughs> I can buy something for you if you need it. I, there's, a, there's this thing called the potion of resistance. You can get the psychic version. Oh, you cool with that? I want to buy that. That's, oh yeah, fuck. Can I get that? Yeah, Jesus. Is it not here in the list? Oh, there's potion of psychic resistance. Oh my god, it's the potion list. of How psychic. Much is it, yeah? yeah, I was I was looking for it all this time, and it's actually here. It's like I thought. Uh, let's see, it's an uncommon potion, right? So yeah, I'm gonna so... price it at one twenty-five per piece. This is eight yeah, hours. Now you get resistance hours. to psychic damage. Yeah, yeah. psychic yeah. damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so not can... not not resistance from domination. No. The domination, yeah. That's yeah, the thing. not that. Okay. <laughs> but they do psychic damage because of the mind ward, right? The psychic, the, the mind, mind blast. blast yeah. yeah. Let me get that. Let me get. Let me get that. I'll get. Yeah, that. same. I'll, I'll get one. two. I'll get two. Wow, you'll get two. Okay, buy as many as you want, dude. I'll get Just one R. So. Just because you never know when we might run into mind flares again. So yeah. that's how much? How much do I have to remove? That's one twenty-five. <laughs> 250, 250, yeah. 250. For me. Okay. And that's it. That's, that's all I can do. <laughs> 250. So that's, that's one second. One minute. I'll buy two as well, just in case, so... Good to have two. What's the um, can rule I have a on quaffing um, potions? Can you repeat that, Fenrir? What's the rule on quaffing potions? So if I... Oh, you have to do an action to drink it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um... DM, can I buy the thingy for potions where you can place them so that you don't have to take them out of the bag? Oh, okay. You mean like a buckle Bandolier or, or something? Yeah. There, there's an item name for that, right? Yeah, something like that. But yeah, sure. Go ahead, man. I, so I, uh, I just assume you have a bandolier. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you, can you can we just tell that I that we all have bandoliers or do we have to purchase a bandolier? I mean, even if you purchased it, it's so insignificant an amount, I wouldn't ask you to pay for it. Oh, okay. okay cool. So, <laughs> I, do, I will put the two potions there, so that I can just grab them instead of taking them down my bag, which will take, like, an entire, you know, everything, so... It's still an object interaction, just so we're clear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you have to drink it, so... I, yeah, yeah. I also tell the party, like, in one of my previous... In one of our previous adventures with Dante, I also poured this wand of fear. We could, if any of you can attune to it, we can use this to throw off some of the mind flayers and make them frightened of us, you know. That's true. 
Uh, keep in mind, though, that would be considered magic, so they have advantage. They have advantage. Yeah. That's true, yeah, but... Uh, We're trying, right? We're yeah. Trying. Do any of you want to attune to this, perhaps? I'm kind of full right now. I'm all full up. I'm sorry. That's fine. What about you, Fenrir? No, what was that? Um, I, uh, Rico has a wand of fear, and with that, you can... Uh, use its charges to cause like the mind flares to be frightened of you in case you know just in case but that's attunement right uh i can't yeah. <laughs> oh, everyone can't do it we're all fully attuned okay yes yeah you know level 14 problems the thing I mean, level, yeah. high level problems. so am i as well <laughs> uh level, level 12 two, problems man two seven five. i will uh, get the level 17 problems man yeah i'll yeah. uh I'll unattune myself from my cloak of protection and attune the wand to myself. Then, yeah. Oh, okay. that's a dicey maneuver. Okay. Big risk. High reward. Okay, okay, so you're attuned to the yeah. wand of fear. That'd be really good, actually. A mind yeah. affecting versus another person who's mind affected. That could be useful. Okay, okay Dan is ready. Um, so I'm, I'm Sina is to... going to, um, she's going to tinker with her, um, uh, equipment during this time after buying the potions. Um, she's going to cast Blessing of the Forge on her shield so that she'll get a plus one AC. Nice. Um, and then she is going to start tinkering with her, um, with her armor, uh, and then she's going to infuse it. Um, so with her infusion, she is going to use, let me find it, um, armor of magical strength. Oh, oh, sorry. Let me re review it one second. Armor of something. That's an armor, guys. Wait up. I'll review it. Now we have some of that. Can you give us some plus one to armor, sir? <laughs> I think that's Let me just see. For her, I have just one, yeah. I'm just for her, okay. I mean, like, I can put it on someone, but I'm not especially smart. Uh. <laughs> Let me get back to you. One second. Okay. <laughs> yeah, keep going, guys. Okay, uh, anyone else doing prep? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. There's nothing else like I can do for preparation. Uh, thanks for breaking down your expenses, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know where Rafi went. I think... Okay, hold on. Time check. It's eleven twenty nine. We can get Do to the point. Me? We can get to the point before the fight, and we roll initiative, and then we take the break. Game, game. Thing, though, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> like, oh. it's a very big cave network, so anything could happen. Ah, uh, okay. mag explore, explore, pa di There's a yep. bit of exploration, yeah. Okay. Uh, we can to go to the. Up. We can do some exploration right now. We can, yeah, we can yeah. do that. Okay. Um, so when do we take our break? 11.45 like last time? or I'm going to eat while um doing at 1 p.m. But mm. for, <laughs> for me, I'm going to be eat, eating while doing the session because I'm going to eat at 1. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm fine with the same. Or 12, I'm fine with that. Yeah. 12. Okay, okay. Uh, Ralph, are you back? Hello. I am back. Yeah. All right. Um, I guess we'll take our break at about twelve then. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. Okay. All right. So everyone's ready. Uh, Raf, are you ready? You weren't here yes. for the song, no? Okay. Yeah, I was. I'm ready. All right. Asma and Safalosk, they bring you towards where the orc clan is and where probably the mind flare colony is as well. So just to be clear, Esma and Zephalos both kind of like don't know exactly where the Elder Brain is being kept, just that it's somewhere nearby. Okay. So, yeah, you're gonna have to be basically exploring the place. All of you kind of like blind to it. Um, Ante, I think at this point, like just before you head to the caves, or no, Cephalos would tell you you have to cast it in the forest, mm. for he does okay. not know how how close or how far the Elder Brain is. And he gives you a very specific range for how far the Elder Brain can detect thoughts. Okay. He says that it's about five miles. Okay. Okay. 
So, yeah, so when we explore, it's going to likely be about five miles away from here. Got it. Dante is going to cast that spell. He is going to distribute the poison to each of uh, his party mates and make sure that they apply the poisons right there, right then <laughs> on like yeah. any of their weapons. And then reminds Got them it. that at the beginning of the fight, you're going to cut yourself. Got it. Got it. Is that a dagger? I do have a dagger, I think. <laughs> Shinna cuts herself now. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Shinna cuts herself now. <laughs> and she's like, oh, it pays off. Oh no. Oh, oh shit, she did it. Okay. <laughs> um, you have to start taking some poison damage. Was that a joke? Are you kidding? <laughs> She's not. Oh, no. She did it. Oh she did my it. god. She did it. Huh? <laughs> um, you take. Oh uh, well, you, you just take one poison damage. A biggie. Yeah. Can you, can you cast aid? Can anyone cast aid? It's okay. <laughs> I will cast aid, I mean, like, before we go into this. I will uh, cast aid for you guys. I will cast it on the fourth level. But I can only it. choose three people. Um, I'll choose I'll choose Outliner. the frontliners. Yeah, yeah okay. it's in a fine, don't worry. Yeah. Um, the end, so she, she infuses Mind Sharpener, which basically um, sends a jolt to the wearer to refocus her mind. Um, when the wearer fails a constitution saving throw to maintain concentration, I can use a reaction to expand one of the item's charges, four charges. Wow. Uh, 1d4 charges. Nice. Wait, what is this thing? Um, it's, it's, it's infusion. It's an infusion um, for my armor. It will... Uh, okay. It's, wow. it's a really cool thing. That's it's nice. sort of like a baby warcaster, but yeah. in armor form. Wow. That's nice. That is iron nice. sharp. How much temp HP, uh, Red Knight? You, you guys get 15 temp HP, and you also add that to your maximum um, HP for the next eight hours. So Okay, got it. Yeah. So, you know, it's not from Artificer. I'm so curious. Yeah, it's from Artificer. Oh, goodness me. Okay. Okay. All right. Fifteen. So, 15, so your 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 maximum HP right now is also like plus fifteen. Yeah, plus fifteen. Yeah. So yeah. we got added thirty HP. No, 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 no. no fifteen, no, no. only fifteen. It's just fifteen, um, technically temporary HP and max HP. Yeah. So I'm gonna ignore yeah, the temp HP part. No, you you include you essentially got thirty HP. But half of it is in your actual HP and the other is in your temp HP. You know what I mean? Uh, no, no, no. That's not how it works. How it oh. works is you increase your max HP, max HP and your current HP increases to match that. Right. So, what well, are like, temp yeah. HP? Yeah. There's no so. temp HP. Yeah. Okay. 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 Got it. Remind me to decrease this after the end of the <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why am I doing so much help? <laughs> Alright, and then. Um, what do you call this, Sina? You you have to cure yourself from the poison. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to ask you to make more saves. <laughs> yeah, sure, no problem. She's just gonna cast the healing word at the first level. <laughs> uh, healing word, healing word won't help with poison. This needs to be a lesser That's restoration. That's gonna be lesser restoration. Dante, Dante's just gonna give her an antidote, and she uh, he's oh, gonna. Oh, no, she lost her necklace. That's okay. Okay. She yeah, she just her yeah, she she, just, uh, she she plucks like a beard, a beard, okay. a bead from her necklace. It okay. has a beard on it. <laughs> it has little golden beard. It's, it's a little decoration on it. Okay. Um, and then she just uses curing on it. She's like, sorry, trigger happy. And then Dante go. Dante gives Sina his last use of the poison, <laughs> and then and then like doesn't hand it to her right away. He's like. <laughs> When the fight when the fight starts, okay? <laughs> Two hundred gold. And then Fatal just does the same thing and cuts himself too. <laughs> Dante just 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 leaves and just goes just towards the Most away never never comes back. Just That's chaotic. Why? God damn. So, nah nah. I was kidding. Dante man. Anyway. That's it. So right. you ready? 
Yeah, yeah, you all have non-detection, Esma, and the Cephalusk. They both have Ring of Mind shielding, so you're invisible. Holy crap, okay. Cool. Here we go. Okay, so you go into the cave. Um, so this is the one that the scouts told you about before, although you don't really know where to go from there anymore. So you all just kind of like follow Esma for a while, going to where she knows where the orcs are. Okay. Nice. Undetected okay. you are. Go ahead everyone, roll stealth checks from me. I have this um, advantage. Can I give them guidance? You sure can. Anyone who has guidance can give other people guidance. Hey guys, come take your guidance. <laughs> I think I can pass this one. Esma and Cephalosk also both have to. Uh, Senna will cast guidance on herself, oh. so it's okay. Oh, I got, I got like a three. Ooh. I got two actually. Oh, that's <laughs> never good, man. I have plate armor. <laughs> oh, guidance is one d one d four. Four. D4. Ooh, wow. Nice, nice, nice. It's okay, we're going to be taking average, so the people who rolled kind of well will make up for the people who didn't. Uh, 18 for Sina. Oh, no. Can someone, like, record it all? Because I'm also rolling for my NPCs. Yeah, okay. Um, Wait, give me a second. Where am I? Uh, Mine's five. Oh, that's terrible, dude. Yeah, right. Uh, Mine was Ano twenty three. Three. What was three calls? Minus twelve. Oh, dude. Why is everyone rolling terribly? What happened? <laughs> there we no, go. Right? And we're twenty three, eighteen, twelve, nine, five. What's the average? Hold well on, let me get Cephalosks. He is a mind flayer Oh uh, yeah, he's rolling for Cephalos as well. Oh my, he is not a very stealthy boy. Let's roll well. 13, that's something. Okay. That's Alright, so, what is the breakdown? Fenrir, 23. Sina, 18. Rico, 12. Dante, 9. Ital, 5. Cephalos, 15. And... Esma is 16. That average seems somewhere in the neighborhood of like 17 ish. Give me a okay. second. Oh, so 13. Bar got 4. the average. Yeah, I'll try to do it myself. 13.4. That's not the worst thing in the world. Can we do median instead of mean? <laughs> <laughs> that's technically. That would be Go for it. That's, yeah, that's what I mean. So go for it. Go to the median yeah. if you want. Because this is, this is like, you know, it's like lower, high, I'm oh, no, just kidding, I'm just... No, dude, we're using <laughs> average. Come on, man. I mean, medium is still an average. It is a uh, measure of sample tendency, <laughs> so it is still an average. Ooh. Math is out of this situation. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not nerding it out, but, you know, it would make more sense if we do the median. <laughs> <laughs> It's Come true. on, dude. <laughs> it's true though, because we have like lots of extremes of low and high, so you just you do some mean instead of the mean. But it is up to you. <laughs> and I think we're doing the mean. <laughs> we will be doing the mean indeed, and hmm, I roll something here. Rolling a d4. Yeah, I'll be Senator. Yeah, I'll be Senator would be me again. Ooh. Okay. So, on a path, you kind of like <laughs> are trying to stay undetected. And um, you come across. Oh, I have to figure out something real quick. What is everybody's light source? Uh... I... Oh, yeah, mine's light. <laughs> Sina! Oh, no, I, have, I have dark vision. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm yeah, vision. I have dark vision. I also have dark vision. Me too. Dante so has blind sight. Dante has blind sight. <laughs> he has blind sight, yeah. Wait, why do you have blind sight again? Where did that come from? Because of my fighting style, DM. 
Uh, okay. From uh, from right. Tasha's DM. Nice. Did you... Until my... I try some more than Kate and stuff. <laughs> oh no, my my uh, my in story reasoning for that is because Dante jumps back and forth to the ethereal plane that some of the etherealness affects his vision. So when he's in like reasonable. when he's like in really dark areas, his eyes like fade to a gray, and then he sees the ethereal world around him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, I like that reasoning though, it's really cool. Yeah. Okay, everybody, um, odds or evens? Somebody um, say. Even, even, Steven. Even? Evens, okay. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Okay. Yahtzee. So... <laughs> Yahtzee. All right, so you all see what seems like hmm, would be in the front and has the best vision. Actually, me, because I have the observant feet, so even my passive perception is like 21. Yeah, so that's better. better. <laughs> that's insane. Okay. And you also have dark vision out to 60 feet? Is that how far yeah. it is? Okay. I, yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, so you're the first who notices this. You have devil sight, um, right? Yeah, devil sight. Yeah, also that. So if if we enter like magical darkness, I would notice. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, um, Rico is the first to notice this, especially with observant. Um, you see, because there's not really a light source going too far out. You're mm. just seeing the silhouette of a um, a floating thing. Oh. It's a floating thing with um, like many tentacles, uh -oh. and like there are some what seems like some orb-looking things uh -oh. at the tips. Um, this is what you see, but you don't see the color though. Okay. And we're in the underdark now. No? Yeah, you're all it. in the underdark right now. Oh, it's a oh my oh. flare baby. I mean, not my flare baby. My the where's the image? Uh, I don't see it. You mean I, my, I'm the... holding it up in, yeah, I'm holding on his it camera? Up. Oh, yeah, okay. okay, hold on. I do have a picture. I should post that instead. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. But it is. I've always wanted to see one of those things. But yeah, you get to encounter but one I, by random. But I don't get the star stars. You know, don't have it. <laughs> You can't. You can never have Zanathars, man. That's not I possible. tell I tell my party members like, guys, I see something, and then I can I quietly do minor illusion to show them the silhouette of what I'm seeing, like it, that. Ugh, you, man, you, don't, you don't have to, cause like now it's in front of all of you guys. Oh my god! It noticed you. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> Suckardly say hi. <laughs> hi. And, and then it Rash blinks. And his, it blinks his eye as though to say hi as well. And then Cephalosk is like, oh no. They are aware of our presence. What? We must run. Okay. What? We must what? We run. must run, he says. Okay, well, yeah. yeah. The he mind witness that. will try to do some of its eye rays while you're all trying to run, though. So okay. let's see. One to three targets it can see. Um, I guess all of you are just running because, like, the jig is up. Yeah. Um, hmm. Is there something I can do? I can fog. Oh, do you want to do that? Yeah, would it help? Uh, it might. It might. So okay, you good. roll. You roll initiative versus the mind witness. Oh, that's right. That's right. Can I? Can I do that? Do I want to use the ever smoking bottle to create a smoke screen as well? Sure. Uh, Anybody I, who wants to defend against this, like you can roll initiative versus the. I got. Okay. A, I got eleven. How about you? Hopefully, you get higher. I got. Let's see. 15. 12. Okay. So okay. You so we can do first. Go. Yeah. So technically, it's redundant if I do mine too. So just use your item. Yeah. yeah it's like just before you, you, you're going to cast your spell. And then he's like. Pew. Yeah. So that's like, that would give him disadvantage, right? Uh, wait, what do you mean? 
Yeah, I ray. Yeah, uh, yeah, the I ray. Uh, he won't even be able to shoot it because he has to see the see target. The target. So. Nice, 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 awesome. All right. So That's the ever right. smoking bottle saved you from the I rays. Would have known. <laughs> such a good, such a good item. Right. Um, especially, especially when you get caught. All right, so you're getting the hell out of there. <laughs> um, but according to Cephalosk, the enemy is aware of your location, so I need everyone to make stealth checks with disadvantage. Oh no, I already have disadvantage. What does that work if you already have disadvantage? Yeah, yeah, I know. Just uh, yeah, I got... disadvantage. <laughs> oh, guidance, guidance, guidance. Plus in stock, yeah. I got, oh, I got seven. Let me write that down. Good, okay. Oh my, 13 or. <laughs> oh my god, this is all terrible. That's a nap one. Oh wow. <laughs> and if I give myself guidance on this, this isn't gonna help. <laughs> Uh, that's not gonna help, man. <laughs> that's a 7 plus 2. That's a 10. That's the lowest. Not bad. Seth, uh, got oh my god, god I rolled a 1! And then guidance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, so that's not gonna do much. Well, 5. <laughs> the has got the exact same thing, man. Crazy. Oh, that's a natural 20, but I have to take the lower. Oh, that's I, also, I also got that. I got like natural 20, but I have to get the lower. <laughs> so, Cephalos got 14, and Esma got 5. I think everyone's is so bad because yeah. of the yeah. advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So, um... Yeah, Cinnabar giving the breakdown, I think. Cause oh, I'm so here. sorry, sorry, sorry. I wasn't able to do it. Um, oh, okay. 10, Hold on, 14, 15. Cinna, 5. Uh, Fenrir was 13. Yeah. Uh, Dante, what were you? Dante Three. was 13. Dante, 13. Fatal was? Fatal is 4. Uh, five. I don't know, seven, 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 seven. Seven, and then Rico was... Ten. Ooh. That's Whoa. All so bad, bad numbers, guys. Yeah. That's all so bad. Ooh. Okay. And then 14 and five, so... <laughs> oh, that's a horrible average. Hold on. I think we can safely say that that sucked. <laughs> Indeed. Yes. It did. Divided by seven people. That's not even a 10, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's not a 10. It's not even a 10. Okay, so you all are, like, panicking right now, because it's like, you were trying not to be detected, and he got detected on the first encounter. Like, goddamn. <laughs> all right, and then... Uh, yeah, we are going to go into a combat right now, because you got found. You got found. You got made. The jig's up. The jig is up. Really? This time you encounter some mind flayers. The mind flayers, like, look at Dante first, and then they are like, "Why is there a mind flayer with them?" What? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's yeah. a surprise. That's right. That's right. It's a birthday okay. party surprise. Birthday party surprise. We Happy birthday, Cephalosk! <laughs> Happy birthday, Cephalosk! Oh my god. <laughs> So we're going to end at like rolling initiative for lunch. So mm. everybody roll initiative. Okay. okay. And I'm oh. also going to be posting the battle map. There we go. You got 11. Let me write that Ooh. down. Yucky. Ooh. Well. I roll that down everyone. Well. well. Oh, we're detected, right? So I can shout now. Oh, before the fight. Okay. You want to shout? No, uh, before the fight. Before I attack. <laughs> I'm writing everyone's uh, thing. Oh Alright, I have to roll for my boy and my girl. Yeah, let me see those two. Oh, did you already roll initiative win? That's for Koshi. 
Ah, for Koshi, okay. That is yeah. 17. Did you already summon Koshi? Wala pa, nag-roll lang kudaan. Ah, okay. It's for when you do summon her. Okay. Mm. How about you, um, Rico? Rico, Rico? Nine. Nine, okay. Rico's nine. Ah, you go first with her, okay. That's my guts a plus two. That is. Oh wow, now you roll well. But... How much is Isma? Isma is 21. Nah, also, okay, Dante or Isma, who wants to go first? Uh, Esma will let Dante go first, why not? Okay. Okay. Esma. How about Safa? Safa fighting? Safa is first fighting. Or is it a trap and he just like, no! No, I'm with my kid now and this oh. was a trap and we're all gonna Good. eat you. Natural 20. Okay. Nice. So that's 20 a, plus what? Whoa. That's a 21. Oh, it's also right. 21. So Dante oh. will go first and then Esma, then Safa? Yeah, or no, it would be Safa Asma. We'll okay. go that way. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's a breakdown, and I will take a bath. Yeah. <laughs> so, everybody at this point, let's take a break. We'll right. come back here at, I guess, 12.53. It's 11.53 right now. Okay. Alright, ladies, everybody, enjoy your Thank lunch. You guys. See y'all. Bye bye. See y'all later. Hold on, dude. Um, Rico's not here yet. Okay, it's okay. We're just chica chica. <laughs> okay. We just chica chica. Okay, hold on. When is his turn? He's up. Interesting nine. thing. I got a lot of. I I got again. I got obsessed to some extent, and I got a lot of. Um. What did he get a lot of? Effects. <laughs> Darkness. <laughs> A lot of effects. I wonder or what that means. Oh, <laughs> bear. Look at oh this. shit! Look at that. That's darkness. Is that darkness. Wow. Ooh. Can I can make it on someone. Wow. <laughs> That's so cool. That Where do you get the effects? So if you move, woo. how are y'all doing this shit? Are you like sorcerers <laughs> or magicians at some point? I'm fucking knowing this shit is. <laughs> Where do you get the effects, dude? Uh, I got it from roll twenty. Ah. How do you add effects to your token? Uh, when you import them as a token, you have you can categorize them now. Categorize as them as attachment. attachment. So instead of like a character, oh, you can wow. categorize them as props or attachment or mount. Yeah, it has to be cool. at the settings, right? Okay. Yeah. So oh, that's magic that circle. Means. Oh wow. <laughs> that's what that means for default category. That's so cool. So cool. Yeah, that a is wonder. cool. Oh wow, it's a summoning circle. As yeah, this is gonna be summoned. Oh, planar! Yeah, oh, like a boomer. Like if it's a planar magic, right? This one? Planar... Uh, or the bead, Sean? <laughs> Sean, planar! Mm. See that massive-ass orc over there? Is a planar <laughs> ally? It's a, it's a hill giant. What? <laughs> There's a hill. <laughs> Oh no, now I can't remove him. Shit. Uh, someone oh, undo. Only... undo. This one, this one. Uh, there's a... There's this... We'll just small... fire him, it's okay. We'll just fire him. Yeah, fire below him. the... Ah, this, this one. one. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. There's uh, a, there's a there's black a... thing there. Yeah. Wow. Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, no wonder. Interesting. And then it snaps. Oh shit, that's so cool. Wow. That's so yeah. Cool. It's okay, we can just fight them. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so since Rico is kind of low in the initiative, actually, maybe we can start. Although, I don't know when he'll come back. That's the thing. Yeah, are you all okay with waiting a little longer? I'm good. Okay, yeah. 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 Wow. Uh, at 1.15, if he's not here yet, I think let's just go ahead because then i think it's a bit too long already mm. sure all righty mm -hmm. i also like that we can make the notes transparent now i can make it bigger without it looking so glaring yeah oh man owl bear where have you been all our life <laughs> I really like it because Smurd, the developer, just just wants to make something good for the community, you know? Mm. Yeah. 
How'd you find it, Chan? Um, actually, a, a DM I knew uh, suggested it to me before. Mm. Oh, so thanks. Nice. Yeah, Whoever cool. he learned it from must also be an awesome DM, cause like, <laughs> what the hell, dude? Grubby. I've never played with him before, but as I, I've never uh, played under him, but as a player, he was uh, really good. Very um, I thought Very, very generous. Hmm. Very generous. Oh my. Grubby. How we this played. This saved hours of my life, by the way. Thanks so <laughs> much. For <laughs> In terms of like prep, it's just so much easier. And then like, while I really appreciate the the um, features that Roll Twenty has, the Asuka, yung learning curve, uh, and yeah. like um, fiddling around mm -hmm. with stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But in some of the player, like, yeah, there will be like, I don't know, 10% of your campaign will be like, did you click this? Wait, sa mag and click sa ko. And yeah. then it eats into time, ba? Mm. And people on mobile have a harder time playing it or can't play it on Roll20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's see what DND will, well, let's see what World Wizards of the Coast will look and what they want. They want a piece of the pie. Mm -hmm. yeah, they they guys to have their own. Gabi, we When this is the closest like freaking games workshop, man, they're fucking greedy. <laughs> Have you That's seen so I know? Have you seen Tailspire? Tailspire, yeah, yes. I've seen it. I've heard about uh, it. I mean that would be the next level, but I don't know if everyone yeah. needs to purchase it. That's the thing. They what do. Like, all the what players will need to purchase it. It's like um It's like three D Albert. But three D. It's three D Albert. Tailspire, Tailspire. Um, like Tail? Hold on. T A L E S P I R E. Um for Dimension ah. 20, they're using it right now for the 7 campaign, and it looks mm. really freaking good. Oh, it's on Steam! Yeah, it's on there Steam. Are, um, yeah, no, I was supposed to buy this one. How much is it, my it's dude? 20, 29 bucks. Oh, 500 one, pesos. five. Oh. Yeah, the thing, that, can then... the thing that did is not just for D&D, you can create other board game stuff here. Mm. That's true. Yeah, you can even do Pathfinder. Time. It hurts, man. Shit. Uh, well, if, the other thing about that is if I can justify Baldur's Gate, dude, uh, I can find a way to justify that. <laughs> I can. I can justify I'm a, I'm a Mac, I'm a, I'm a Mac I'm user, so what one which is a Mac? Ah, yeah. Uh, uh, okay. yeah, yeah. It does have requirements, dude. You know, like 8 gigabyte RAM, graphics card yeah, with the 11 It's like a video game in itself. Rafi can't play this. Can't have it. Yeah. Raph, Raph will have a hard time playing that. Yeah. But I want this. I do want this. If, people, if other people are willing to get it, like, I will play in here. Me too. Like, I'd be willing to do that because it's so, it's so awesome. So now we have yeah. the problem of 3D battles, something yeah. which I've always struggled with. We have, yeah, we have and it, like, it gives you visuals here. for flying. You can create your own map. You can do stuff like that. I'm sure Ace is also interested in this. Yeah, I'm sure it would be. For so like three people, like. Dang, dude, Tailspire. It's some really cool stuff, man. I think you can also add your own assets here, but I'm not sure. Don't call me on that yet. I think you can. You can create. Yeah, you can. I mean, like your own assets. Like, um, if you wanna start building a. Floor tile from scratch. Oh yeah, Murag, I think you can. I think you can, right? I think you might, you can, Tingali. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't, you have to make it yourself, because I'm sure if you, like, buy something, like an asset, like, people won't like that. But the thing is that people anywhere around the world can play this, and people, you can share, like, your creations and stuff like that, if you want other people to play it. Like, for, like, a lazy bastard like me, like, I'd rather just use other people's shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But the things that you're, you can make your own stuff, and you can, the screenshots are amazing. Just like the TV. Yeah. That's pretty epic and stuff like that. It feels like you're playing like a literal video game, you know? Yeah. Exactly, man. Yeah. But it's I, I will say that I noticed some of the players get so, um, like during during the fight, like they'll be so ling out with clicking around the stuff yeah. and what it can do. Now, my distracted players, I can notice in the one campaign. Uh, 
<laughs> and that's already edited. It's like highly edited, like a TV show. <laughs> yeah. But, um... I'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. I don't. I don't have ADHD or anything like that. <laughs> I don't have ADHD. I mean, you know, whatever the players are allowed to do, the DM's allowed to do. <laughs> that's true. Man, you can play with other online people. I think ever. You can yeah. play Pathfinder here. You can play. Well, I'm not sure Starfinder because I don't think they have futuristic assets. But technically, like medieval stuff too. I think it doesn't matter because even if they don't have futuristic assets, you can use your imagination. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So Fatal's pretty wide because I'm tall. Oh, Sam, do you know how tall Fatal is? No. I'm six. He's six ten. Oh my god. Okay, well, so this like... Almost seven. Ten is just a Yeah, so it's like five flat. <laughs> yeah, so later on, I'm gonna wait. Which is, something. Which is tall for a dwarf. That's tall yeah, for yeah, that's tall for a dwarf. Yeah, oh. That is tall for a dwarf. Yeah, that's tall for a dwarf. Henry is seven foot. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Jeez. That is the... Okay, we're two beasts up your front, dude. We're literal giants. Up your front. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Well, better. everyone except Dante is tall. <laughs> Everyone except Dante is tall. Even Sina is tall for a dwarf. For dwarfs, yeah. <laughs> Dante is just Fine. a short guy here. What about Rico? Hey man, Rico's average. six. Rico's like six, yeah. Six like flat, six flat. Dante I think it's the same height as Rafi. Isn't he 5'10? I don't remember, but around no, that. No, it's six feet. Yeah, I think yeah. the point that it's six feet. Oh, yeah, six Almost feet. all of his characters are six feet or something. Oh, yeah. no, my characters are just average. I don't right? think like, Rafi has a short character. Yeah. I don't think he has a short This is my first tall character. Hey, oh. welcome yeah, to the tall character. Club. Most of my characters are like average height, or at least it's like, what, 5'10 or something? Because mm. I remember um, Matthias is just 5'10. Oh. Matthias. I can't remember how tall I decided that the Nile was. I remember. I remember it was will be tall. It was I like. I be tall. It was like 175 or something, somewhere yeah. in that range. Because in D&D Beyond, they ask for CM, so I'm yeah, like, okay. <laughs> mm, yeah. I'll just put a number down. So we um, label the uh, Mind Flayers? M1, oh, sure. M2. Yeah. MF1. MF1. Oh, go, go, go. You do it. Do it. You do it. <laughs> F3. Mofo. Mofos. Oh, <laughs> Mofo they're, one. They're Mofos. <laughs> we're, we're, we're going there. <laughs> they're MFs. They're Mofos. ID. That guy is the one that's asking for your ID when you go in the club. <laughs> ID, ID, please. ID. The brain with the legs is the bouncer. Telepathically, <laughs> 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 That's so stupid. <laughs> the brain with legs is the bouncer. Okay, yeah, it is you. officially 1.15. I think it's time to get things going. Let's Wait, get this party started. Rafi wasn't drinking, right? No, I don't think he was drinking. So there's no reason for him to pass out. I was just thinking, did he pass out? No I way. think he's just hanging out with the fam. With the family, yeah. yeah mm, it's his birthday, yeah. so that's yeah. why. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna start. I'm good. Okay. Alright, alright. So... Yeah. Um... First turn is Dante, round one of this uh, kerfuffle. Alright. Dante will uh, take out his cane and then hold it in a sword-like position. And then, uh, you know, like a, a, an aura emanates from him and the cane. And, and then in the air the and in the caverns is filled this tribal like music as he starts his blade song uh, so my ac is now 20 i have boy, plus boy. four to um, my concentration saving throws whatever whatever as my object interaction i take the spike from the palm side of one of my rings and i stab myself uh <laughs> Yeah, so I have now poison. I make a constitution saving throw. Let me do that. This is going to be minus one. 
I minus oh. four, minus four, because on on my D and D Beyond, I added plus four from my intelligence man for concentration checks. Okay. Why why didn't it not? They're twenty <laughs> minus four, so twenty four. <laughs> I succeed, so poison. You take half of one d six. Yeah. Did I? Oh my god. Did I make a? Uh, a macro for the poison because I don't want to 1d. I didn't, so okay, I'll make that later. Just 1d6, man. Yeah, R 1d6. Dante takes 3 damage. Uh, 3. That, that's half, by the way. So oh, because I half. save. Yeah. Uh, so it's 1. 1. Wow. <laughs> 1 damage. Alright. And then. Uh, that is that. I'm going to. Um, I like the basic choice. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to slam. Just add whatever in. I can't think of anything else. Slam the cane on the ground as the shadows around Dante will circle around and shadows will rise like a black ink as he says, Salamin, Salamin. And then mirror images of him will appear around. Nice. Uh, so mirror image, blade song, and then, uh, Koshi is gonna go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Distract this guy. And give advantage to one of Fatal's attacks. Oh, I'm not planning to attack, but thank you though. Okay. And then... Oh, the fate was like, oh, the dog here! <laughs> <laughs> 25, 30, 35, 40. And that is Koshi's turn. And Dante will... Uh, will he move? Will he move? Dante will probably move... Just... Just there. Okay. And turn. Turn and though. Okay, next up is Cephalop. Cephalosk. Cephalophilus. Cephalophilus. Cephalump. Why Cephalump? It reminds me of the Heffalump from Winnie the Pooh. Heffalump and Wizzles. Yeah. <laughs> Cephalosk. Maybe they do that. <sighs> Alright. So he... Oh no no no. Wrong thing. He is going to be going up here. 5, 10, 15, 20. And in this straight line, he's going to be blasting these two orcs with a lightning bolt. He, his incantation just sounds like guttural noises because he's saying it in deep speech. It's like... Alright, and then these orcs have to make a deck save. I'm pretty sure they're gonna fail. That's a 6 plus whatever that fails. I see 15, but good. Yeah, that fails too. Okay. At the third level, they're gonna both take 8d6. They're probably fried. <laughs> Let's see. These are just normal orcs, not like the demonic looking ones, right? Yeah, they're normal orcs. Oh, sad. Sad life. <laughs> That's 24 damage. I'm pretty sure that kills them all. Orcs only have 15 HP, so. Oh, yep. that's sad. Bye bye, orcies. Bye bye, or the power apparently got cut off earlier, so it's jumping right now. Bye. Oh, All wow. right, so they are indeed dead because they only have 15 HP and took 24 lightning damage. Oh, wow. Um, you see that trail of blood in the map? That's their trail of blood <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, that this, was such this perfect goes away. timing. Yeah, that goes <laughs> Alright. Do you need advantage, advantage after all? <laughs> You do need advantage after all. <laughs> Alright, and then Cephalosk will walk a, a bit behind so that he can cover behind you all. Cephalosk. Right. Yeah. That is Cephalosk's turn. Esma. I need a different book for Esma stats. Right. Esma. She is. Page 186. So, Esma. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily the best combatant here. She's kind of like the weakest of all of you. She has cross for that. 
<laughs> hmm, okay. Here's her page. Oh my, she is not good at this. <laughs> Can she just not fight? She'll she'll fight. It's in her arkish blood to do so. So oh. here we go. Um, Esma on this side is going to 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 at Orc 3. Hmm. Orc 3. No, she won't do that. She'd go straight for the Mind Flayer. So she'll go here. And then... Hmm. No, actually, she wouldn't be that close. She'd be here. And then with a clear line of sight, is going to cast Guiding Bolt. It's going to cast Guiding Bolt at the third level against MF3. Oh, Let's see if she gets there. D20 plus. It's your spell attack, girl. Plus four. Oh, that does not hit. Shit. That's a third level spell gun. Okay, I'm gonna take a note here in trackers, so... Um, Asma... Third level... And also Safa... Third level slot used... Okay. Dang, that sucks, yo! She almost got him. Alright, and then she stays there. Sadly, did not get the hit. Alright, next after Esma is Fenrir. Fenrir, your turn. So, Fenrir runs towards here first. That's okay. And before he fights, he usually tries to hype himself up. Mm -hmm. So he shouts, <laughs> This is where we fight! This is where they die! Mm -hmm. And. Oh, shit! <laughs> and he. Uh, uses quick pause to throw the javelin of lightning to Ooh. MF2. Oh, that's badass. That's badass. Okay, hold on. The line will look kind of like that. So that'll yeah. hit. Two. That'll hit the intellect devourer too. You gotta hit the bouncer too. It hits the bouncer. Ooh, 21 Ooh. to hit. 21 will hit the mind flayer, yes. Uh, okay. okay, so what, is that, what happens again? What does the javelin say? When you hit it, when you hurl it and it speak its command word, transform to a bolt of lightning forming a line. Mm -hmm. Each creature in the line, excluding you and the target, must make a DC 13, taking 46 on a failed save or half as much. Turns into a javelin when it reaches, make a range weapon attack against the target. Takes damage from the javelin plus 46 lightning. Okay. So the target takes, yeah, you hit for sure, and then 14. Takes 14, damage. right? Yeah. Okay. Takes 14. And then, yeah, so the intellect devourer uh, oh, no. takes. It takes 46, but oh, before it does. It, it has to do the, the dexterity so. saving throw. That's, that's true. Okay, Do I roll another 4d6 for the if it? Uh, no, oh, yeah. it's the same one. Okay. All right. So that's one. Two. It only has plus two. Let's see if it rolls on eleven. Seven. Seven. Twenty plus two. Oh, it passes. It takes half uh -huh. of it though. So yeah. half Wait, of seven. That's like seven, yeah. Yeah. Half of seven is three something. Three like okay. damage. Okay. That was one of your attacks. You have another. Yeah. Yes. I think I'll see this. So I look at Fenrir and it says, Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and Fenrir looks at Fatal and says, I could do it too. <laughs> yes, you can, brother. Yes, you can. The both of you get inspiration for that interaction. God damn. Thank you. So we have two now, right? Because we, we have one in the beginning. Yeah. I have three! Oh no, it doesn't, it doesn't go stop. beyond yeah. three. No, it doesn't yeah. go beyond Okay, okay. Yeah, it doesn't go beyond three. We limited that too. Okay. So, yeah, yeah first attack 26 to hit. That hits, I think. Uh, 20 damage to the intellect devourer. Oh, shit. Hey, Raffi! Yo, Raff! Hey. 
Yo. Okay. Yeah. Does it have any resistances? I don't think it does. I don't think so. It's a low CR monster, right? Yeah, but even low CR monsters surprisingly have sometimes. Yeah. Damage resistances. Okay, it's not fire. That's for sure. Okay. So it takes 20 damage total. So that's 23 now. Wait, 23. Thank goodness, it's probably dead. Yeah, it died in one hit. <laughs> yeah. If that's the case, I move forward to this guy and I'll attack. All right, this is your third attack, yeah? So, yeah. Uh, this is my, not the, the quick toss was a bonus action, so this is my second attack for my attack action. Uh, what's quick toss? Is that the thing? Uh, I think so. Quick uh, toss uh, is superiority. a yeah. yeah, superiority die. I'm supposed to, oh, oh, I'm supposed to add the superiority die to the, the javelin. To the, to yeah. the javelin. Dude, so, okay, go ahead. Or... Uh, this is a new superiority thing, right? Okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, That's so cool. Or, so the mind flayer takes additional four damage. Okay, 18 damage. That battle master is getting better every year. So 25 to hit for the orc, 15 damage. 15 damage and what to hit? 25? Yes, 25 to hit. That, that hits for sure. And then yeah. 15 is its life, so you cut it down. Ooh, nice. It... Oh my god, do I have, do I have movement? Oh, wait, I was here. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait, wait. 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, oh, that's my movement. Aww. Oh, I... No, but... Can I swap weapons? I can't, no, no. Um... You threw a javelin. I mean, you can throw another javelin. I'm okay with that. No, I don't have a javelin. I okay. have a... <laughs> yeah. I have a dagger, though. If it's on a bandolier, you can toss it. I'm okay yeah, I'll just throw a dagger the last <laughs> Okay. Because I can't use my bow, right? I can't. No. No, no you can't. Yeah. 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 So I'll throw a dagger to the mind player. Okay, that's good. Go. Uh, a dagger. 18 to hit. 18 will hit, and it takes 8, eight piercing damage. damage. Uh, which one are you attacking? Is the, it the reach, second one? The reach of a dagger, if thrown, is six, no, 20 feet. Can you... It can hit MF2. Yeah, MF2, I'll, I'll just stick with that one. Okay, you toss the dagger there with its effective range. That brings it to 26 damage. Okay, and I end my turn. Thank you. That was an excellent turn. You killed two things. <laughs> All right. Um, next up we have, after Fenrir, is Koshi. Oh, dude. You Shit, I did the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I took it yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, wala okay. so, Skip my skip. Your turn's done. The let orcs me, are dead. Yeah, yeah let me delete that. I will delete the orcs. They don't get a turn. Fatal, your turn. Alright, as um, he's so proud of his brother Fenrir doing this shit. And he says, my turn, brother. And then... His eyes glow blue lightning as um, a sphere of, like, like, like his friend is close to it, he could feel the very air around him started to feel very cold and stormy-like. As I summon Storm Sphere to damage his people. Let's see if we cannot hit him. Um, 20 feet? Oh my god, it's so huge. 5, 10, 15, 20! That's 20, right? Five. That can work, yeah. Oh, no, it's 15. I need to make it bigger. I mean, <laughs> you just kind of like adjust it anyways. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, fine. it'll work, it'll work. Yeah, you okay. can hit three of them without hitting Fenrir. Okay, and I will uh, have to make a strength saving throw first. Okay, they are not very strong. They are called mind flayers, not muscle flayers. <laughs> right. They don't, they don't flay their muscles, but they don't flay muscles at 
Although that'd be nasty. So each one of them have to do it or take, I will roll damage for that. Don't have any bones, so it's 15. Uh, 18 for the second one. And two. Wow. Yeah, they all failed. Oh, they all failed. Dang, you gotta do the roll 18. Wait, 50, someone rolled an 18. Yeah, that's too fast. Okay, that was too fast. Yeah, so it's half so... damage of two. All right, so two. Oh no, 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 no! There's no damage for this one. I don't think they take half damage. If they ah, succeed. okay, they don't take any. So damage. it's just four damage for the person that didn't succeed, bludgeoning. There you go. And four okay. Damage. And then as a bonus action, I will let lightning rain upon twenty-six guy. Right? All right, you doing another attack roll? Yeah, I will have advantage on this. So he is within twenty. He is within the circle right now, right? Yeah, he's, yeah. he's well with it. Just let go. Well with the so circle. Let's see recruit. Do you have advantage on that? That's yeah, if they're crazy. inside the circle, actually. I read it. If they're inside the circle, I get advantage on that. If they're outside the circle, because I can throw lightning within 60 feet of the uh, middle. Okay. And then the circle is 20 feet, so if they're within the 20 feet circle, I have advantage. I'm guessing a 24 hit? I think it's oh, 25 yeah, definitely. Actually. Definitely. Yeah. So that's just 4d6 lightning damage. Uh, 12 points of lightning damage on that, dude. 12 All points. Alright, 12. That'll bring it to 38. Alright, and I will... Injured. Yeah, I will take up my positions up in the front. 5, 10, 15. Right here. That's it on my turn. Alright, we need to send screenshots to Rico. Which is Aww. excellent timing, because it's his turn. So, here we go. Uh, who can send screenshots here? You can just do it. Messaging. I got it. I got it. All right. At Rico. Okay, it's still a little bit cold. Okay. I'm back, boys. Uh, okay, I'm standing right there. Okay. Three mind players. Okay. Uh, no. I can't hear Rafi very well. Yeah, a little scratchy. What about now? Can you guys hear me? That's better. Mm. Okay. Hold on. Uh, what's happening right now? What's this red sphere um, representing? That's, That's my storm sphere. The storm sphere of fatal. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Uh, so all these guys are here. Uh... That's three of that's three mind flares, okay. Hmm. I'm going to uh Yeah, I'll go for it. I'm going to go five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Uh, I'm gonna fly over to the space of Ben here, and, but I'll be flying over him, so I'm like, not in space, just like, at the top, you know? Uh, how high up I did? 5, 10, 15, 30. Uh, I'll be like, I think I can make it 5. Oh no, I can't hear you again. Um, I'll be like, Five feet on top of them, you know, like just like the five. No way. I'll just be like, and uh, you know, the four squares between us. I'll be over in the fourth square near him, but I'll be floating like ten feet off the ground. Wait, the four squares. To the right, towards Fenrir. Okay, so like over the dead the orc then? Yeah. Okay, gotcha. And you're five feet above the ground, okay. Yeah. And then from there, I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm going to use my gem of brightness to try and get all three of the... of the mind flayers. The, the gem of brightness, I'll expend five charges. And then I'll be creating like a 30 foot cone from the gem to the mind players. So if I can, I think I can uh, 
catch all three of them. She can catch all 30 foot cone. What will that look like? Uh, you're at a very weird angle. You'll definitely yeah. miss Mind Flayer 3. You can get the other two though. Yeah, that's. That's fine. Uh, hmm. You know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Okay. So they have to make. What's the DC? They, they'll make a. Uh, They'll have to make a con save of 15. Con save? Okay. Yeah. Then I'll go ahead and roll that then. E20 plus, what's their constitution mod? <laughs> Just that much, huh? Okay. Okay, so MF1 fails. Nice. And then the other one fails too, they are both blinded. Nice. Nice, blinded. nice. very nice. Very okay, nice. and then for my bonus action, I will quicken spell. Oh, I do have a question. And... Is this magic? That's the thing. Creature... But they have advantage if it is magic. <sighs> Let's see. It is a magical effect, I think. I mean, it's advantage on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. Yeah, okay. so it is a magical effect, so they have advantage. Okay. Let's try one more time. So for the second one, d20 plus one. Still fails. And d20 plus one. Still fails. That's crazy. Hey, that's right. Man of Destiny right here. Man of Destiny. Man of Density. <laughs> it sounds like a really fat guy. For <laughs> 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 For my quick and spell, I will cast. Hmm. This is gonna be a bit uh, tricky. I'm going Again. to cast. Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay. For my quick and spell, I'm going to cast darkness on my uh, originating from my shield, so I so that from there I can come catch. Um, I'll be catching Fender also, unfortunately, but then. Effectively, they're covered in magical darkness, everyone from me. Because it's uh, darkness is a 20 foot radius sphere. Nice. nice. Uh, is that a 15 foot radius sphere? Let me double check. Yeah. Like, I remember it being 15 feet because, like, that's how much it's supposed to be 5, 10, 15. On oh, fear. I uh, saw 50 foot radius here, yeah, you're right. Uh, well, yeah. I'll still be able to get uh, You'll still be able to get the mind flare that isn't blind, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. God, yeah, it's so that, awful for them. They're just yeah, all blind. That, you're like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll, exactly. uh... I'll cast, uh, I'll cast, yeah, I'll cast, Bef as I cast Darkness, before I say the incantation, I yell at Fender, run to the direction where I came from. Oh, <laughs> that's smart, okay. Yeah. So I did, oh, I'll just run sideways there. <laughs> there you go, okay. So, uh, is that the end of your turn, Rico? Oh, I, I didn't hear that. <laughs> Was that the end of your turn? Yes, yes. yes okay, is, yes. there it is, there it is. Okay. It's in a bar, it's your turn. So, I have a quick question. I can't see inside the darkness, obviously, right? But I can see uh, MF1 that is currently blind, right? You do have line of sight, yeah. Okay, alright. Uh, I will go up here. And then, oh, uh, I really, really, I don't know if I, I don't think I can be able to get too close to them because there's darkness. So um, super simple first turn. Um, Sina's just going to close her eyes and then she's going to, um, she's going to, <laughs> she's going to cast heat metal. 
Oh. She sees that. Oh. oh they, do have, they do have the armor, so it does work. Yes, they do. They yeah, do. she sees that one of them, they're oh, wearing right. breastplate armor. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, she says, like, um, by, I call to be more than fire through my forge's flow, this I desire. Um, uh. And her eyes kind of, like, glow a little bit. And now uh, Mind Flare 1 is going to... His, his breastplate is going to start glowing really hot. Oh, um, God. It's going to be uh, and God. Yeah, and then I'll cast that at a fourth level. Oh, man. Oh. So, such a spell, right? Like, such you don't hear spell. that spell a lot. But when we do, it's like, oh, my God, God bless you. So, save, yeah. Here we go. Uh, actually, no con save. Yeah. Uh, so, for this one, it just happened. That's, just that's happened. a move it, right? You have to remove it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got yes, naked yes. my oh no, I don't want to say mind flare naked. <laughs> I'm, I'm barbecuing the mind flares. Um and that well, is we're really have all Calamari I can tonight. Calamari oh, yeah. tonight. Oh and I forgot, I I take the um uh Cinnabar uh just chugs down the um poison <laughs> and then she goes yeah. spicy. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Spicy. That's all I can do. It's spicy. That is true, because you only get, like, limited to one to damage. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, go ahead and roll a con save with advantage, because this is poison. Four. And you will take this much damage. Uh, did that go through? Oh. Oh, I rolled a 22. Oh, that'll make it. The other one is like five, lucky. Okay. Yeah, I know. How do you get? How do you roll with advantage again? I'm so used to another bot, man. Good. After, no? Yes. Yeah. C space con space ADV. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you take half of that because you succeeded. So that's going to be two, and then you take half because you're resistant. So you take one. <laughs> yeah, just one. It is just I think it's one all the time. Yeah. No, wait. Yeah, it's one all the time. I have no idea if like, she fails. Even if it's six, even no. if it's ah, six, yeah. it will it's be one. half. Oh, okay, yeah. three is the minimum that she. Yeah. Can, the maximum oh, okay. that yeah, she yeah. Can if she it fails. is just spicy for her. Oh. It's just spicy. <laughs> spicy. Oh my god. But when she succeeds, though, it's always going to be one because yeah. half yeah. of three is one point five. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter if she passes; it's always one. All right. So, uh, yeah, he is burning. Go ahead and roll your fire damage. Crazy. It's such an evil alignment way to use that spell. Twenty-three. <laughs> so I guess that's what twelve. Um, he's not resistant to fire, yeah, so not. it okay. takes the I mean, full 23. Woohoo! Wow. You said no save, right? I mean, No I can save. Do you can double check, absolutely double check, but yeah, I'm not sure casting it on him, it's, I'm casting it on the armor. Yeah, yeah armor. you're casting it on the armor. Yeah, so I don't think that, unless he takes it off. Does it, I think yeah. he has to do it like every... He has to do a con save at the end of his turn or something, or else it takes mm -hmm. damage, but then take it off. Uh, any creature in physical contact with the object takes um, 48 fire damage, and until yeah. the spell ends, I can use it as a bonus action. Oh! That's correct. Okay. So, That's a really good spell. So crazy. It's the best spell for people who wear armor. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's the end of that then. Or do you have anything else you want to do, Senna? No, that's, that's pretty much it. She'll just... Now that mind player has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. He's already blind, you. <laughs> He's already blind. blind. <laughs> Give the guy a break, man. <laughs> He's having a rough time. Mind player turn. He might as well be dead by now. The mind flayers, they're all still alive and they're all still kicking. Yeah. So, the blind and that guy has disadvantage and everything as well. It's kind of sad. I know it's sad, really. Hmm. Well, okay. They all have. A, I'm thinking out loud right now. They all have a hive mind. They all know they're all alive. What would their my? What would the elder brain say? Go fuck them up. Yeah, I think they'll say go fuck them up. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. So they don't need sight for this because I'm reading it thoroughly. Mind mm -hmm. blasts. They don't need yeah. it. For that one, they don't need it. in that area. 
Yeah, they'll just blast it where they last saw. They might even just be blasting in a random direction. It's a 60 foot cone, so let's see how this goes. 60. You can roll like a 1d4, you know, that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, but I don't know. <laughs> okay, so um, I have a drawing tool here. So right, look for it. There's a cone, right? There's a cone for that. Yeah, five, the triangle. Uh, I don't know if triangle is the best fit for this. Oh, it's a okay, cone. It works. Yeah, it's a cone. Yeah, it works. Okay. Peak. So here we go. For the first batch. Did that con save or with intelligence? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. I have advantage in that. This is this. How about a stun? How about a stun? Oh no, I don't have advantage on it. Is this this isn't a spell? Yeah, it's psionics. So it's, it's not a spell. Uh do uh, you get stunned if you fail? Yes, you do. Oh, which is one. really bad if you're concentrating. So I got ahead. thirteen. I think I failed. Thirteen. Thirteen will indeed fail. The DC is fifteen. All right. No fire's gone. Insane. Uh, let me touch the spear. Sorry. Is this an inf sorry, is this an insane? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Who go. else is am I affected too? Who else is blasted? I am uh, for the first one, it's only Fatal, Cinnabar, Dante, and Cephalos and Koshi. Koshi is probably dead. <laughs> Koshi's gone. How much do you have how much damage? Ah uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that now. For what's the this, what's how much did we need to roll to save? Fifteen. We need 17? to roll a fifteen. Oh, the cool, I saved. Saved. Okay, you're not win? stunned. That's win. good. You're not stunned, but you still have to make a concentration check for your no problem for your um fire for your heat metal. Dante, you also make an end save, by the way. Dante failed. For constitution. Dante, what are the chances of that? Okay, you're still concentrating. I, well, I shit. I am gonna fry you, you MF. God, just a question. Uh, oh, don't up. they... I'm just wondering, do they rule disadvantage on attacks? Uh, oh, this no, isn't this an is... attack. Yeah. This oh, is okay, okay. a blast. Oh, blast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a psionic blast. Psionic blast. All right. Um, for what's his name for Cephalos? He's oh, he's not immune to psychic damage. Yeah, no, my players aren't. Weirdly That's so enough. weird. Yeah, and okay. makes them both end up killing each other. So <laughs> exactly, yeah, right. They love killing each other. I guess that's why. Forty-eight plus four. Oh no, I already rolled that. Um, fourteen damage is what I rolled. I think. Ah. 14 damage taken. Four, did I roll that? 14? Uh, yeah, 14. Yeah, 14. Total? Yeah, yeah, 14 total. Okay. But we are stunned. Kinda sucks. That's worse than getting damage. <laughs> this worse than getting damage, ain't it? Mm-hmm. For... I don't get to play for a turn. There's this plus 7 in save. Oh, dude, he failed too. So he's oh stuck. my god, why are you guys failing? You're like super intelligent. <laughs> it's so weird. No, right? It is weird. I was expecting me to fail, but I didn't expect you guys to fail. Alright. This is kind of so awful, that... actually. Shit, they could suck our brains off. <laughs> they might. Done. They're blind still, though, so that's the good yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Raph, when they did they rip? When do they repeat the blind save at the end of their turn? I think it is the end for that, because I I did use that thing on one of my monsters and I was I rolled for the end time. Ah, okay, okay. So but I will double end. check for you. Yes please. No, DC fifteen on not very constitutional. Oh, that's a, just a fifteen though. Nice. He's not blind anymore. Yeah, so the creature can repeat the same throw at the end of each turn, so oh, it's at the end. Okay, so he's no longer blind. MF1 is no longer blind. Yeah, oh no! Let's hope I'm not stunned by the end of the turn. Yeah, it can, it can end its blindness at the end of each, each turn by doing a con save, yeah. 
Oh, no. This one, it's going to hit the, well, they need to open these it. people. So, oh, Dante gets hit again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can't say record is stun, or do they have disadvantage they're stun? So, Kuan Man, oh, for strength thing, and dex, Ah. Yeah. Uh, I just, just upgrade. Just save, you know. Japan. Get creatures in their feet. Alright, Asma will be affected too, which is not good oh, for her. Oh my god, I'm <laughs> rolling, just rolling shit. I'm gonna roll shit too, fuck. In, in save, right? In yes, save. In save. Yes, in no. save. Uh, oh, you have to make, very intelligent. And you have to make an int save, by the way, if you want to be non stun anymore. Asma failed. Oh, fudge. I'm. Uh. Oof. Fine, oh my god. Stun. We might as well be what they call this unconscious right now. Stunned. Okay, they have to recharge this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. That's a good thing. But they can extract brain because we're technically incapacitated, right? Because we're stunned. Oh, mm. it's not that simple. Don't worry. Mm. Oh, they have to tentacle grasp us first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Rico, what did you roll for your intelligence saving throw? Because you're being affected by the mind blast as well. Yeah. Rafi? Yeah, Hold on, I'm rolling. It's really okay. tough to... Okay. Take your time. And, and I will roll everybody's damage. For the ones who failed, you take the total of 25. That was a good one. Oof. God, the rolls are so bad. Come on, boys. We gotta, we gotta bounce back from this shit. 25 damage? Yeah. I think I failed. I rolled 12. Oh, oh. dude. Do you want to use <laughs> Favorite by the Gods? This might be the time. Yeah, so 2D. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. Alright. Oh shit, sorry, moving this guy was here. There you go. You just need to roll at least one, two. There you go. Yeah. Alright, you saved. You take half of 25, so that's 12, and you're not stunned. Okay. However, you do need to make a concentration check. See if you okay. maintain uh, yeah. darkness. Okay. Right. D20. And I have to make a con constitution check for... Oh, he rolled a natural 20. He's not blind anymore. Damn! Alright, well, the dice is speaking. The dice, dice is are speaking. Fuck. Okay, wow. you are saved from the... from co breaking concentration. That's good. Yeah. Okay. So they still can't see you, technically, even though they're not blind anymore. Yeah. Oh. All right. Did Mind then, Player uh, 3 take a turn? Oh, not yet. Yeah, no, there's still his turn. He's about to, yeah. yeah. Right. He's gonna do his Mind Blast too. Oh, crap. What, which direction does it want to? What, Dante he just gets hit every see, time. Yeah. I think Dante still gets hit though. Then that's the thing. You're in the prime position to Yeah, get right? That's the worst position to be in. Fuck. It's like, it's like it's... shape in your mind, but nah. It ain't. It ain't, <sighs> man. Okay, cool, 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 cool. How far does this go? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 60. Yeah, dude. Uh, I think this one barely misses Rico, so that's good. Uh, yeah, I'll just take this damage, right? Because I'm stunned. Uh, you still have to oh, make, still a make, yeah, make a save. Yeah, I can make an insane. Oh, yeah, God. Yeah. Dante succeeds this time. Nice. Uh, I failed. I failed, I failed. Oh, I failed. Oh, and I was just stunned. Fuck. Oh, stunned. <laughs> Is everyone stunned? Yeah, everyone's stunned. Oh, no, 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 no. Except for Rico. Rico didn't get hit. Uh, so carry, it, carry us, Rico. So if you if you fail um, the in save, you get stunned. Yeah. Uh, you get stunned and at you the end lose of your concentration. Turn. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boop. And at the end of your turn, you can what they call it. You can think of a jig. You can do the save again. All it right. needs to be an in save though. I thought it was Constitution. Um, Fenrir also... Oh, Fenrir saves! Yeah, I save, I save, woo! But it's still fun, so I'll just take them. Yeah. yeah. So, for the people who failed, 25. For the ones who didn't, got it, got it, succeeded, got it, got it. you get half, so that's 12. Okay. Alright. Oh my, 25 damage to my boy Seth, 30, also. Um... I'm at 69 HP. Don't damage me anymore. <laughs> 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 you're, not, 
Nah, that's the rule. <laughs> yeah, I'm at, I, I'm at the, the the nice number, so don't don't damage me anymore. It's a noise. It's a you know what I mean? Noise. You can't damage that. Noise. It's a noise. All right. And uh, oh yeah, Rico just got out of that mind blast. It just went in that direction where it saw you walking. So funny, it hit everyone, literally everyone except the person he wanted to hit. Right? Fucking hell. Uh, all right, Dante, you're stunned, right? Okay, make an int save. Let's okay. go, Dante. You got this. A question, DM, can we use our inspiration for insaves? Good, yeah. Okay, I will use that for mine. So, ADV. <laughs> Now's the time. Yeah, fuck what? you, fuck you. Alright. Okay, am I'm I... stunned anymore. Am I immune to this bitch, or... Can I still get stunned in the future if they do it again? Ah, yeah, no, they can still stun you. It doesn't say anything about yeah, being Yeah, it, it can still stun you. But they have to recharge. It's a 5 and 6. So recharge, yeah. Okay. A, oh, no, it's a 40%. 20% chance. But that's the end of my, my turn, no? Because end of turn, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and God the damn. end of turn. Okay. Uh, uh, you're not yeah. displaced right now, by the way, because you took damage. I got damage. But I think it comes back at the start of your turn. I have a cloak of displacement. Okay, it comes back at the start of your turn. Yes, that anyways. is correct. So I'm still... Okay. Yeah. You're still displaced. Okay. Yes. Uh, Sefa, he has to make a int save to get out of being stunned. So Rico is... Oh, he's still stunned, dude. Shit. Jesus Christ, dude! It's one of your people! <laughs> no, what can I say? Okay, that's oh, the end God. of his turn. Okay, uh, Esma? Esma, she is also stunned. That's correct. She will. What's her stats? Oh, no, she doesn't get any ads. <laughs> Natural one. She's stunned. Oh, next, man. Next up is Fenrir. Fenrir is stunned. Make an int save. Fenrir, but dude, you can use your inspiration. Use my inspiration. <laughs> yeah, just, just use it. You have, you have a lot. Just use it. Yeah. <laughs> that was the time. <laughs> You've been hoarding it. 18! Oh, oh, oh yeah, God. you're not stunned anymore, you boy. Get, get to work later. Okay, my turn. Holy shit. Man, I <laughs> wish I could really do something, bad. but I got nothing right now. <laughs> let me let me let me roll. I will use my permission as well. The one out of two. One out of two. And it's minus one! Oh, uh, no, question, so DM. So fun. Um Dang. Yeah, if yeah. I want to draw my bow, right, uh, that's a free option. I have the dual wielder. I can stow and draw two weapons at the same time. Yeah, but that's usually like drawing two or stowing two. It's not like drawing okay. and then stowing. Can I stow one, draw one? <laughs> uh, sure, why not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can um, you can uh, drop your turn, you can drop yeah, your yeah. your swords and then draw your bow. Yeah, I could just yeah. to drop stuff. It's a free it's action a, to drop. Like a true okay. free yeah, action. What you'll have because I didn't draw. I didn't draw my secondary weapon yet, so I only have yeah, one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, like, okay, I... sure. <laughs> That's stretching how it works a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Um. Okay, I think that's the end of Fenrir's turn, because yes. at the end of your turn, that's when you make the save. So, Fatal. I'm so the way, fine. time check, it's two, so probably after this fight, we'll stop here. Okay, and yeah, then we'll okay. continue. I'm still stunned. Yeah, you're still stunned. So, at the end... Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. You did that at the end of your turn. Rico, you are not stunned, so you get a turn. What do you do? There, um... Oh, okay. Is this? Yeah, please stop talking. Oh, it's muted. It's muted. Uh, yeah, you're muted, Raph, if you're talking. Rico. Wait, what? Well, it's my turn now? Yeah, it's your turn now. Yeah. Okay. Your turn okay. came by really quick because a lot of people were stuck. Everyone's just rolling to see if they're still stunned. <laughs> yeah. That, that's just the way of life. life. Can I have a screenshot, please? Ah, right. Uh, it's okay. the same thing, actually. Like, it, it's the same thing, dude. It's like, more nothing, or less no the same thing. Uh, here yeah. you go. Sending a screenshot. No the one moves. are so big. 2.97 MB. Bright, uh, high quality. 
It is high HQ. quality, yeah. It's HQ, bro. Okay. Uh... Okay, this is uh, happening. What, what's this orb for again? The great orb? Darkness. That's your darkness. Yeah. That's your oh, thing, okay. dude. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. So they can still use Mind Blast, so... Yeah, they have to recharge it. Yeah, they have to recharge it. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move uh, in a... I'm gonna fly in a direction where uh, the three of them get covered by the darkness. So maybe five, ten. Oh shit, but then I could risk. Uh... Yeah, that's gonna be you, dude. Yeah. Um, the, do the cave mouth, by the way, how, how, how far is the top of the cave mouth from the floor? About, uh, I'll say. 12 feet? 12 feet, okay, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Ah, huh, okay. Uh... Hmm. Mm hmm. Ooh. Okay, okay. Here's, uh, here's a... Here's a nuts thing. I'm gonna fly in front of, um, Mind Flayer Two, okay. Mm, in front, like directly in front? Yeah, directly in front. So that would be like one space on its bottom left. That's what yeah. I'm understanding. Okay. Yeah. And then right. from there, I will cast Eldritch Blast on... Um, hmm. I'll cast it on... On Mind Flare One, he's still affected by my darkness, right? Mind Flare One, he is still affected by your darkness. Okay, so, cool. Okay, this is a weird interaction. I'm gonna have to make a call here. Because normally you would get disadvantage on your Eldritch Blasts because you're within five feet of a creature, but he's blind. You're flat roll. Uh, Wait, yeah, yeah that Mind Flare One roll though. normally. Huh? Because I'm five feet within Mind Flare two, right? Is that it? Yeah, that's why you, uh, you get disadvantage on ranged attacks whenever you're within the reach of an enemy. Wait, wait. I'm trying to see because I'm trying to. Fenrir didn't move the eye. Nope. But no, still, no, he hasn't it, moved. Because I'm planning to cast Thunderstab. I don't want him to get hit. Hold on. Let me check the uh, radius of this one. The darkness is on Rico. Yeah. yeah, the darkness. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll okay. put it there. What's the... Oh, wait. 30 mm -hmm. feet? 15. It's 10... It's 15. Yeah, so 15 for that, and Thunderstep is 10 feet. You'll be able to hit everybody if you use Thunderstep without hitting. I, will... I won't be directly, I mean, to the Mind Flare, because I'm still flying 10 feet off the ground. I'll be like... I'll still be five feet off the ground, but kind of like adjacent to Mind Flare too. Does that still get me? Uh, yeah, because you're within its five foot reach. Okay, no wait. Before I enter that, I'll go like five feet higher again, and then in front of. So I'm like uh, ten feet off the ground now, but still like in that square on the bottom left of Mind Flare too. How is okay, that? Then, then then you won't have this advantage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll cast Eldritch Blast on uh, Mind Flare One. Okay. Then... That's gonna be three Eldritch Blasts for you. Yeah, five. Then... You have advantage on these because they can't see you, but you can see them. Yep. Yeah. Let me roll my three beams. I'll do a D10, a three D three D twenties, and then I'll add my modifier. Sure. But your modifier plus nine it's plus nine because i have the rod of the pact keeper right now okay okay so pew, 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 pew. Pew, pew, pew. and then i'll roll it a second time because of advantage oh wow there's a natural 20 right there <laughs> nice nice <laughs> all right let's roll for the other two then because you don't yeah. even need to roll for the first one again <laughs> let's see 
You're right, yeah. I'll roll uh, for the other two. Two D twenty. Wow, okay. dude. <laughs> that second attack will never hit. <laughs> okay. Uh yeah. so uh that's uh that's uh it's still a three D ten actually because of uh yeah, that's yeah. true, because of the crit. <laughs> The the crit made up for one of the misses. That's true. That's Ooh. eleven points damage. Something and so. then and then uh I will use the last of my movement to fly closer to Mind Flare two and then from there I will cast Thunder Step by quickening spell. By quickening spell ah okay. Yeah. So, like, you kind of go to the ground level? I'm trying to figure out how high up you are right now. I'm, like, 10 feet off the ground. I used uh, 50, 20 feet of movement to go to where I was before casting Eldritch Blast. And then, okay. yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out where you teleport and how high up the ground you are. <laughs> like, that's what I'm trying to figure out. God, this is so tough. I don't have internet. Hold. Uh, what's happening? Because uh, you can choose to teleport, so I'm just wondering where it would be because elevation I'm gonna, is a factor too. I'm gonna no, because I can. I'm still gonna teleport. Can teleport as far as ninety feet because of the range of the of the place. So I, I think I'll teleport like near where that my allies are located, you know, so I can be closer to them. Okay. They're, they won't be able to see anything also. <laughs> oh, that's true. Yeah. I mean, you're covering us, so they won't be able to attack us. That no way. Good. It's good for the stun people, so they don't get grabbed. Yeah, but they could still mind blast. That's my problem. And I need to get out of there, so... They have to recharge. Uh, yeah, I'll teleport to um to an area between Mind Flayer three and two, so they can still be blinded by the darkness. You know. I see. So that'll be. Do you want it to be closer to Mind Flayer two or closer to Mind Flayer three? Just like, is there a space where I'm like not in be where I'm in in and elevated? No. Nope. Can. No, oh, they're sure. they're between each other. Yeah, uh, they're okay. between each other. I mean, you can be right in between them and be elevated still. Yeah, you're still 10 feet off the ground. Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. So you essentially move 5 feet to the right. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. That'll work, that'll work. Okay. Um, so, what level are you casting that on? I'm casting this at the 4th level, by the way, so... Yeah. This will be a 4D ten damage. Okay. Nice. They failed the con save. So their con save, okay, 15 I think fails. Yeah. And then 13 fails as well. And 2 fails. Nice. Okay, they all they fail. All Roll your 4D10. Nice. Ooh. They take 36 thunder oh, damage. Nice! Isn't 36 dead? MF2 dead? Come on, baby girl. Kill Let's you. check. Let's check. This one took 60. No, wait. Is it 60? 34. Yeah, it's no, 34. 70. 70, 70. Yeah. I'm sure that one's not dead, but the MF2? Um, plus 36. That's going to be 72. MF2 is dead. Ah, is he? Oh, Yo. okay, cool. <sighs> Yeah, cool. This this one point above, eh? Interesting. And then this one I thought he had help. 40 damage total. Okay. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. So, uh, Rico, you're the only one who sees the both of them. MF1 looks like near death, and MF3 looks like he's injured. No, nice, nice, nice. Badly injured, yeah. They can still see um, Mind Flayer 1, right? Because I didn't maybe one, maybe one hand, <laughs> like just yeah, one, one hand. hand. <laughs> just one hand. <laughs> the, literally, the like two fingers. Like a tentacle flapping around. <laughs> like, we can see two fingers of them. All right. 
so that is the end of your turn, I'm assuming. That was everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So, at the end of Rico's turn is Cinna. Cinna Bar, what do you do? Oh, you I'm think... saved! I'm so stunned. Oh, oh, yeah, you're still stunned. Okay. You saved! saved. Oh, you're stunned. Yay. But you're I can't do anything one. else after that, no? Yeah, I can't do anything else yeah. after that. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, the Mind Flayer's turns. So, oh, uh, they are not stunned, they are not blind. So they, But they can't see shit though, so they are still blind. <laughs> yeah, they're still in darkness. Yeah, they're still in darkness, so... The... <laughs> they're not looking too good, so... Ariko, uh, you kind of see them casting something with psionics. And then... Yeah. Uh, this one disappears in like a portal sort of thing. Ah, okay, so it's mentioned. gone. It's like freaking dimensions. Like right? plane shift. Thank you, pl Yeah, plane shift, I mean, that's mm -hmm. some more powerful. Yeah. Okay. They're yeah. retreating! That's the end of this encounter, and I think... Okay, let's have a like wrap up of this session. Like, what are y'all? You can um, do a bit of role play, and maybe we can wrap up this. I'm thing. so sad. <laughs> For one minute. I mean, you'll get out of it eventually, dude. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, Fatal's like, is that what we're going to be fighting? Uh, Sin is gonna walk up to uh, Dante, and then she's like, Dante, are you are you all right? Dante shakes his head. He's very angry. He's gripping his cane like really tight, and then he looks down, and then he just uh, he just shakes his head, and he says, "We should have been more prepared." And he turns around, and you know, there's about there's about ten more of them down there. That's true. Ephelusk oh. said that he encountered at least a dozen. Yeah, at least a dozen. Holy shit. Yeah, that's gonna be problematic. I don't know. And so what do you guys suggest? Do we... I well, Red Knight, pretty, if you think about it, it's up to you. These are your people at stake here. My, my, wait, my people? Do you mean Esma and Esma. not me? Esma's okay. people. Yes, yeah. what do you think my well, lady? I mean, I mean, also your people too, Rico, because they're going to keep attacking the place, the keep. That's true, but I'm not any use protecting the keep if I come in here unprepared and exhausted, you know. They'll get the best of me, and then my people will be in danger. Oh, it is going surprise. to take more preparation, but... This is a second surprise visit. Hey, Alexa. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Hello. Hey. Fenrir basically stands up and says, I don't like that feeling. Neither do I, brother. Neither do I. Yes. And he runs over to pick up the javelin and the dagger. <laughs> <laughs> you pick up whatever you need to pick up. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, it's up to you all what you want to do, but Cephalosk, Cephalosk and Esma make it clear that they do want to push on because the objective is to make them forced to retreat or to kill mm -hmm. the Elder Brain. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like, so let's be honest here, I'm not, I can't sneak around quite easily wearing the plate armor I have. Is there any way to make me invisible, or if it's something like that? I think sneaking around is off Ish. the table. Yeah, they, yeah. they know we're here, we've faced them, they've run away, they're going to tell their friends. So at least a dozen of them and a bunch of orcs are waiting for us down there, and there's just six, seven of us. Yeah. Unless we bring an army. Unless we bring an army. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not risking my people again. You know. So do we just let you? I have. Well, if you ask me, I would like to retreat again. But if the rest of you want to push on, then I am fine with that as well. But that's risking an counter attack if we do retreat. That is true. Yeah. But that would be fine because then we can fight them on our terms. 
I don't think we have any element of surprise anymore. If so we, I don't see any point to force it. If we, we will. If we do not mm-hmm. push on, we are also going to give them enough time to prepare. True. It would this be l- if if we retreat now and recuperate, we're also giving them time to recuperate. True. You have a point. Okay. We'll have to push forward then. You have a lot of your resources left, actually. I think everyone just used like one or two spells. At yeah, most. but it doesn't yeah. matter for stun, right? That's true. <laughs> actually, Dante used like all his third level and two of his fourth level spell slots for non detection earlier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. right. So yeah. that you can be here. Okay, well, you still have that advantage. They don't know, know exactly. where you are. But we know they're attacking, yeah. Yeah. But no, no, where you are. And they can't possibly pinpoint you right now. You kind of like hacked their GPS in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I do not want to retreat. Fender just says, let's kill these bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill these bastards then. And then I just said, I mean, why strike. give them more time to to recuperate and and uh, regenerate their numbers if they can regenerate if we've already taken out one or is it two? And damage through. Two. Yeah, uh, and damage the other. Yeah, unfortunately, you all lethally killed the orcs, so they aren't on your side anymore. They can't possibly be on your side anymore. I mean, it's, it's really hard dead. to not kill a 15 health people if you're <laughs> like know. level 12. <laughs> Just saying, so, That's you know, what... high level problems, you know? Yeah, I know, but they also didn't say non-lethally damaged them. Uh, I mean, that's on me. No, too. those were, yeah, those were like spells too, so. Yeah, yeah. Cephalus can't, can't, like, yeah. you know. He did kill one of them. Guys, oh, of uh, them from what uh, from the information that Stephalos told us, apparently these elephants can, whatever they did, they can only do it once a day. So I'm sure wherever those, those two were, they're taken out of commission for the next few hours. So we do have no, a... No, 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 it's no. It's not no, per day. It's just that it recharges. And I'm pretty sure they get recharged with the time we fight them. Plane ships? Yeah. No, 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 the plane ship. The, the oh, time class. Mean... Yeah, I'm saying that since the Illithids use Blaine Shift, they, that means they're not like, they can't be yeah, not, they're not, yeah. yeah, they're not on this plane at the moment. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, that, that's too less to worry about for a while. Yeah. yeah. What, if we keep going, then maybe we can, you know, scare most of them into plane shifting away, if, if not kill them. And then we might have a chance killing the Elder Blaine. And then <laughs> Cephalos says precisely. If we cannot kill all of them, then at the very least, we will scare them all away and dwindle their numbers. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was thinking of a smart way to do this, but since the smart people say we don't retreat, then okay. I'm just saying there's <laughs> nine more of them down there and we should be prepared. At least nine, by the way. Indeed. That's why it is our top priority to free the orcs, so that we can have the numbers on our side. What what are the chances of us fighting all nine of them all at once? Perhaps for our next battle, we should try to be more conscious about not clumping together, you know? So it's not so easy for them to take us all out in one go. Yes, I agree. Indeed. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Let me see. I'll need to go now. Yes! Alright, so <laughs> I guess the plan is to continue pushing on. So yep. that will be yeah. the, end of the session for today, everybody. Thank and you! I did Thank say you. that, I did like promise that this would be a level up regardless of how it turned out. So everybody's level 13 now. Oh, oh yeah! Nice. Do we get full health or nah? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we level That's up. Not, we level up. Oh, so, uh, yeah. so I'll just message you some questions, Link, about the level up and me planning to take some, you know, different Ooh. apps for myself. 
Thank you. Yeah. All Alrighty. right. Bye, everybody. Happy Thank birthday. You. Happy Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. GG, uh, GG. Bye, everybody. GG. Bye. 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 And that was the second episode of Plucking Strings, DM by DM Lincoln. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope you enjoyed it. And uh, stick around for the rest of the episodes. That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs>